I give glory to the name of the Lord. The Lord has given me grace to work this record in English. Too. Even though I've worked it in Yoruba language before, since year 2005, but I've been trying to work this out in English. Thank God for the grace. And I'm using this opportunity to thank and appreciate those people that God has been using for me in prayer. Especially ministers of God all over the world and the children of God. Many churches have organized prayer for me. And, and I give thanks for the Lord that gave me my life partner, my husband that God has been using for me mightily, Pastor Adebayo, that has been praying for me. And I pray everyone that God has been using for me in prayer, even financially, the Lord will give you grace and power to make heaven and you will not be robbed of your salvation in Jesus' name. The reason why you hear my voice this day on the year, I'm here to expose the secret and the mystery that is going on in the kingdom of darkness. For I am there working with devil for 990 years before the Lord Jesus Christ saved me. My encounter with Christ. I will explain many things in this record. Please give me your hair, your heart. And I pray God will give you understanding that will enable you to know the right thing as this message will be going on. These are the things I want to talk about in this message. I will tell you how I become one of the member of the darkness. I will tell you my assignment in Nigeria. What I know about the anti-God kingdom, anti-Christ kingdom, and satanic kingdom. I will tell you how we establish fake churches all around. I will tell you the, the power of devil in Christendom today. How we are using the, 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 the women of the last day against the glory of the Lord in the church. I will tell you the secret behind makeup, the secret behind abortion, the secret behind apami and attachment. I will also tell you the secret behind the gospel musician today, something that is going on in the schools today, university, secondary school, primary school, how people have got initiated in those schools. How somebody can get involved with the mark of physicists in hospital, in bank. And I will also talk about the secret of darkness behind Holy Communion and water baptism. And I will also tell you how we make judgment in the kingdom of darkness upon the saints and the children of God. I have many to tell you even though I cannot say everything all in this series one, you will be expecting for the series two. Many I have to talk about. God bless you as you lead today. Let me start from this place. What I know is this. The first time I came to this world, I was born in Egypt. I was a man by then. I have one wife and four children. I was a soldier. We all go to the world front. We are up to 20,000 soldiers in our troop. But that war front was so tough, our commander died, and we are all wasted away at that battlefield. When we die, there's no place for us to go. Because if somebody dies and you don't have the Spirit of God, your spirit will be stranded immediately when you give up. There will be no escort angel that will lead you to direction, to, to, the, to the place you're supposed to go. So our spirit was hanged in the air. Suddenly there are some demon called Gog and Magog. They appear at the battlefield with their tank. They load blood to the deep sea. And when they are about to go, they discover we are there hanging up. They now arrest all our soul and took us to the deep sea. When we get to the deep sea, they took us to the planet of the kingdom of the coast. When we get there, they put on a straight line. They got all of us initiated by giving us a cup of blood. We drank this blood as a covenant of initiation. And after being initiated, they now carry, they now send for 
our master plan in order to give us assignments. In the kingdom of darkness, they have level by level, grade by grade. When, you are, when we are talking about grade, there are some grade called local level, federal level, national level, international level, and worldwide level. This is five stage. That is why some people call five star, five star. Some people may draw it in their church. Some people may draw it in their signboard. They don't know five star mean five stage power of the world. It's talking about the kingdom of darkness. It's not talking about Christendom at all. So this five star is grade by grade. When, you are, when the local level is dealing with somebody, they can do whatever they like for you without, without looking for your, for your life and plan. But this higher level I'm talking about, I'm talking about CC's realm because there's 3-3 three, three realm, CC's realm, 7-7 seven, seven realm, and 9-9 nine, nine realm and above. But this day we are into CC's realm in the kingdom of marine, king, marine water. And in there, before they will do anything or take any step on you, they need to ask for your master plan. And this master plan can only be gotten in the kingdom of Nine Nine Realm, where the international demons are dwelling. Because before any man will come to this world, when you are coming from God and from the from heaven, you will get to a place called immigration center. This immigration center, every human being must be stopped there, and they will search for your master plan. That white plan, with white file in your hand, they will collect it, and from there they will check your master plan. Master plan means whatever what you are going to do in the world from day one to your last day on earth. God will plan everything in your record, and uh, the moment they got through this thing, if they discover that you are coming to this world to do the will of God, God has given you assignment that can that can affect the kingdom of darkness. The next thing they will do is that they will remove the genuine plan of God and replace with master plan, counterfeit plan. So that when you get to this world, everything you will do in this world will not be, will not go along with the plan of God for you. For example, if God being sent you to this world to be to be a citizen of, um, uh, of Canada, they will change you from Canada to Ghana. And before you have been, before you came. God will send the angel of your life to Canada, your helper, your benefactor, your parents. Every good thing of your life will be dear for you in Canada before you have been born there. But when they change this, change it to counterfeit, all what God has provided for you will be in Canada and you will be born in Ghana. Where there's no helper, no goodness, nothing, nothing. The angel of your life, your guardian angel will not be there with you. That's why you see people, when they're born, then they suffer. They will, be say, they will say, God, why did you bring me to this world to come and suffer me? No, God has prepared everything, but the, the angel of darkness have changed the plan. They have changed uh, the plan of God. They are giving you a counterfeit plan. You are being misdirected. That is why you are facing problems. That is why, children of God, you need to pray earnestly. Pray very well. With prayer, God can send another angel to, to, to relocate you. And I pray every one of us that being facing this type of problem, the Lord will open heaven for you and, and attend to your case in Jesus' name. As I was saying, they sent for our master plan in order to know the plan of God for us so that they will know the assignment given to us. When they bring this master plan of everyone, started going through it and giving everybody, putting everybody into his office that he will operate, that will work for kingdom of darkness. I'm on the line waiting for my turn. When it gets to my turn, I just see some people gather me, gather me, they bundle me and, and lock me up. For good two weeks, I was there. I don't know why they locked me up. By the time they, they came to bring me out, I asked them why do they lock me up. They told me that I did not offend them. But what they, what they discovered in my master plan shows that God sent me to this world to come out to, as a prophet and to work against the kingdom of darkness. That is why they note me and they want to give me a special assignment so that they can use me against the kingdom of God so that God can regret of sending me to this world. I don't count it as anything because personally I don't know God. I don't know maybe you have any plan for me. I just accept what they told me and they told me that they are going to send me to school and they told me they will send me to school and I'm going to spend 300 years in the school. I was so surprised. How can I send 300, spend 300 years in school? That means I'm still going to die again. They now laugh at me. They told me in this place nobody died because they have the power of immortality. And they show me some people 
Those that have been living for 2,000 years, 3,000 years, they did not die. And this gave me courage. And they gave me something like a, a small stone, white, bamboos like this. They put in my mouth and I swallow it. Then I believe I'm immortality. Not knowing that devil is just deceiving me. They send me to school. When I get to that school in deep sea, it's university school they send me to. You see, this deep sea is a very big place. Bigger than the whole world, the whole global world. Very big place. I don't know how I can describe it. The whole world we are now, they are just like a, maybe a, a local government or a state in that place. Very big place. If you see their stadium there, we can compare it with what we have here. If you see their university, their hospital, everything we have here, they have. They even have more than us because they are civilized more than all. They have been there existing there before Jan before God before Genesis 1 before God created this world you know they are fallen angels they have been descended from heaven since they make mistake and they have been here on this earth in the water covered by the darkness for billions of years before God start before God remember the contract of this world and establish this world they are the here where God is creating everything from day one the only power we have over them is that when god creates every other thing they know how god created everything they know the secrets in the plants they know secrets in the animal they know how god created every uh, everything but when god wants to create us god breathes into us and the secrets behind that breath they don't know it that is why we are making over every other thing and i pray the supernatural of god Prayers of God in you, you will not lose it in Jesus' name. And if you are lost, you have already lost it, the law will re rebuild you back and will bring you into your glory in Jesus' name. As I was saying, these people, they get my, they, they put me in the school. In that school, they send me to do many courses. I've, I don't, I've done many courses in that school, but the particular course I went in there for is theological course. And this theological course, took me 100 years before I can finish this course. You may be surprised that in the kingdom of darkness we read Bible. Bible is the most greatest book. It's a book of law. We don't have any other book of law. Any other book that any religion may talk about. I don't say it's not book, but this Bible is the one that the kingdom of darkness respects most. They don't joke it because they know by Bible every man on earth shall be judged. Even heaven shall be judged by Bible. So therefore, if you want to be great or you want to have promotion, maybe you want to be a police, a judge, a lawyer in the kingdom of darkness, or you want to have a higher rank in the kingdom of darkness, you must go, you must do this court, course I'm talking about. You must know the word because this word is also power in the kingdom of darkness. As it is in the light, so it is in the darkness. The only difference is that we in the kingdom of darkness in those days, we use it to counterize the genuine the, the genuine children of God because we know they don't have the understanding. They don't know how to use it. And I pray that word in your hand will never condemn you in Jesus' name. I did many calls in that place which I cannot be explaining things to you. But there's something I want to tell you. Everyone that wants to go to school, university, I'm not telling you not to go. But I'm advising you. Just go, read some and leave the rest. Because when we are talking about education, you will only receive theory. The real practical of all these courses they give to you in the school is right there in the deep sea. They may give you any course. You will write notes, you will read book. But to do the practical, after all sorts of things, if you want to produce medicine, you want to produce electronics, all those things, at last, after your experience in school, you discover you produce fake, not original. But some people will now come out and they say their own is the best. Why they all why their own is the best and yours with all your strength you produce and you produce fake. There's something called scientific work or world or courtesy. This scientist world or courtesy, anybody that join them, those are the people we call genius in any course. They are genius. We are genius of God, but not in the way of the world. I understand what I'm saying very well. So I spent my years in this school, 300 years. I finished all my course. When I finished all my courses, after my graduation, 
I was promoted to California. Because the reason why I do that course is that I want to become Chief Justice in the highest court of the, of the Kingdom of Darkness. And truly, I pass all my exams and I become Chief Justice in the highest court of, of the darkness. And that was why I've been sent to California because California is the headquarters of the office of devil in the whole world. Devil have office in three places in the whole world. He have office in California. He have office in the Indian, and he have office in Nigeria also. He came. He, the office in Nigeria was established in 1977 by the first tax 77, the one that uh, uh, that that they brought to this Nigeria by one of our presidents in those days. And that first tax 77. We may talk it we may thought it's ordinary festival it's not ordinary festival it's it's, it's been programmed to establish to in, to initiate the whole power and the kingdom of darkness in nigeria establishment of the or uh, and the empowerment of darkness in nigeria and the office the secretariat is being situated in benin city the center of upper market benin city that is where the office is and I pray God Almighty, we come down in his infinite power and destroy the, the stronghold of darkness in Nigeria in Jesus' name. I proceed. When, I, when, I, when they promote me to California as a justice, this is a 30-year channel. And I was there as a justice. I have, I have, I have done many cases, judge many saints, condemn many souls, I cannot explain much about that in this record. But when I've been invited to church, I explained it in details. I've been there doing my work perfectly. So one day, I went to my chamber to go through files. And I come across a file name on born persons. How can somebody that is not born have case? How can I judge person that has never come to this world before i was so baffled i don't know how to handle that case i need to call on my registrar i asked my registrar to give me details about this case he cannot explain he now sent for the i now sent for the lawyer that bring the case when i interviewed the lawyer the lawyer now laugh he said it's possible they have been doing that in this court that is possible for somebody that has not been born to this world to answer case in the kingdom of darkness and I say how? How they come across such case? He now told me that they have astrologers. Me, I mean star browser. You know, before every man is being born to this world, your star will be on the sky at least 300 years or 400 years before you are being born to this world. So your star will be there waiting for you, programming you for, for, your, for your own generation that is coming. So there are some angels, fallen angels, they are browsing stars. These are the people we call astrologers of darkness. They read star three years to three hundred years to come, four hundred years to come. You see, when the star browser were going on in their work, they might, they now come across a strange star, a strange star that that been wrapped with the pillar of fire, and this star have been come across before for a long time. The star of Moses, before they born Moses, the kingdom of darkness noticed that somebody strange is coming. Because Moses have the angel that walk with the pillar of fire. If you go through the book of Exodus chapter 14, you will read it there. Because the pillar of fire walking with Moses. And this is why they wage war against Moses. They don't want him to succeed, but glory be to God that Moses make it at last. And when they discover this strange star again, they need to notice that person and mark it. Mark that person. So therefore, they want to program against his life. That is why they brought the case. Not that he offended them now. They only want to program against his life. They just want authority from me. So that I will declare what to do. So that they will carry out the assignment. Okay. I say, but how are we going to do the case now? How are we going to see the person I want to judge? I cannot judge him in his absence. He now says it's very easy. They still have opportunity to take permission of somebody from heaven and bring him to their kingdom for judgment. I say, I don't believe. He now told me that so far God can permit Job into the, uh, into the hand of devil. 
they still have access. I thought it's a joke. I just give them dates. That so so dates will do the judge. But I don't know how to come about the case. I don't know the type of judgment I will do. And the, the lawyer now told me that if I don't do the case, they will go and report me. So this thing now pushed me to go back to my library. I read very well. And later I'm able to do the case. I, my decision is that I will get married. I will, I, I will arrange marriage for him. We reincarnate a demon. One of the demons will reincarnate that demon to be a woman. And we and that day in, in the court, I now bring the, the, the real dem, demon reincarnate together with that man that appear. The baby appear as an adult man. And we, we get them wedded. And surprisingly, when they are reading the data of that baby, they mention the name the baby will be on head, the name of the parents. I'm saying three or four hundred years to the time that that baby will be born. No, the parents are not yet born, the father are not yet born, but they mention the name, the location everywhere. All the data of the life is in their discrete. They program everything contrary to the master plan of God. That is why I beseech you, all my listeners. If you discover your spiritual husband or spiritual wife, don't prove that you are too holy or you are born again from the infants. Just go straight for your deliver and pray, deliverance and pray. Because many have been initiated or get married before they are born. So many people have been engaged before their mother even give birth to them. So don't argue. Go for deliverance. Everybody needs deliverance. So far you are this, you are in this world. This world has been polluted. You need deliverance every day. And I pray. Pray that the blood of Jesus Christ will purify you from every iniquity you are into in Jesus' name. As I was saying, after we do the case, I've done another case, many like that. I finished my 30 years tenor in that kingdom and I got promoted to another kingdom and in that office before I got promoted to another kingdom and the kingdom they promote me to is being called anti-god kingdom there are three kingdoms controlling this world anti-god kingdom anti-christ kingdom and satanic kingdom and since the time of garden of Eden it was the only first kingdom we have been we have been into till today. The first kingdom that I call anti God kingdom. It started from the Garden of Eden, when the snake came to deceive Eve. You see, in this world, if anything happened, we normally mention the name of Satan, Satan, Satan. Either you believe me or not, Satan has never started his work. The person at work right now. His name of Queen of Heaven. The same person the Bible talk about in the book of Genesis chapter 10. I'm talking about Semirami, the wife of Nimrod. The person that established the, the Tower of Babylon, Babel. The person that the whole world that time are worshipping as a god. This is the person that caused Eve and Adam to go against God in the Garden of Adam. After God has saved some people so through Noah, he is the same person that come back again and make them to build an, a tower against God and he has, is the one that gives them idea of idol worshipping again. And this person came again third time. is a person called Jezebel at the same time. Anytime he came to this world, as he, we call him reincarnating, he is a demon and he will, he will come in the shape of human being. He will reincarnate to human being. They will born her. He normally come as a woman. They will born her to this world. If he has a powerful assignment that he wants to perform by himself. by himself. So this person I'm calling Queen of Heaven is one of the archangels, superior than Satan himself. You know, before Satan was being descended to this world, he was just an, a, 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 a leader of choir, Kerubu, the lead, uh, choir master in heaven. If you go to the book of Ezekiel 28, you will read it there, you will see. He's a choir master, he's not one of the warrior's angels. 
so he still have some superior age powerful than him but it's only when he want to perform when he want to plan the coup he go and you know, take the consent of the archangel they support him and they carry out the, uh, the coup and when they all lose the, the coup they all being cast away together with devil so devil still and satan still has some people that have power more than him so this queen of heaven have power more than satan himself so he's the one that started the ruling of this world so after his own kingdom then antichrist kingdom will come up then the satanic kingdom will come at last go back to your revelation you will discover all what i'm saying there so what i'm saying now is that in that kingdom when i get there they now introduce what they are doing to me they explain how they how they operate in their kingdom they told me that in their own kingdom they don't attack people they don't kill people anyhow they just they don't disturb people from prosperity they don't they don't give people barrenness the only assignment they have in their own kingdom the own the major work they do is to make man to serve god under the anger of god what their major work is to to lead man to hellfire they say they don't afflict people on earth it is other local local small small kingdom that affect people on earth maybe local level federal level national level is that in their own level they are the highest level their own is to to stand against in a, a man from making evil i say how oh, they say they have their motto and they are their power in the word of god they say their motto is in deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 8 and deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. i read 5 8 you shall not make yourself you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the water below you shall not bow down to them or worship them for i the lord your god am a jealous god punishing the children for the sin of their for of their father to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me when i add this thing i did not even it doesn't mean anything because we have read this in the school when i'm in the deep sea and i say how could that become power for you he now told me that they are they are fallen angel they have been dwelling with god for billions of years before the mistake they make and god descend them to this world they say they know the attitude of god they understand god very well they know that god will never will never admit or accept anybody that that worship another god anybody that worship another god must always be under the anger of god and if that person die they they are sure that the person will never see the favor of god so that is why they need to cause people to worship god under the anger of god he said that is why the idea of idol they don't joke with it they must make sure they cause people to bow down to the idol and then they know god for this that whenever he says something he doesn't reverse it is a god that never changed so it is only when man repents then he will he will hold on and if man go back to sin all that sin he has forgiven him before when he go back to the sin they will reverse all those sin and couple it together with the one he commits new but when man repents he will and he did not go back to his sin he has overcome totally so therefore they now told me that in their kingdom they don't stop man not to go to church they don't stop man not to worship god but they only by own trick they don't use power they use wisdom they will program somebody's life to worship god under the anger of god they now told me it is from this they established many churches today and they told me they they they, they took me about deuteronomy 4 19 that 419 spoke about the about some churches and some religions also in verse 19 says and when you look up to the sky 
and see the sun, the moon, and the star. All the heavenly array do not be enticed into bowing down to them and worshiping things the Lord your God has apportioned to all the nations under heaven. He now told me that this is how they cause some religion. Whenever they want to worship God, they will bow to the sun rise. They will bow towards the sun. He said they cause them to do that so that all their righteousness, their faithfulness to God will be condemned because God will never accept them without a single thing. Say that is the only thing that will destroy them. And the moment they die, when they get to the gate of heaven, this condition will be open against them. And they told me that there are demons at the gate of heaven. He said, it is not on this earth the demon fight people. Say when they die after death, they will still be there at the gate. The way they stand against Moses after death, they will still stand for somebody after death in heaven to quote out those things that somebody did not work, did not discover on earth against somebody at the gate. Say this quotation they normally use it at the gate to against the saints, those people they, they thought they are only on earth. These are the things they use against them. And I pray the Lord God Almighty will give us grace and wisdom to understand every secret system of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. So they now told me how they operate in the church. They told me that this idol worshiping in the church, this is how they brought it into the church. After the death of Christ, in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, among the Israelites, the apostles start, started their work again by going from one village to another, city to another, preaching the gospel, doing revival, doing healing. Anywhere they go, there will be power, there will be healing, there will be deliverance. And people started coming to Christ, following the apostles. And these people now say, how are we going to stop these people? They try to stop them by killing them. The more they kill them, the more they expand. Now when they now go to Rome, the land of Rome. They do their program there, they stay their program there. Many people got ill. Some people that are blind, that are lame, worshipping idols is all these days just one day program somebody that been lame for 30 years that walking a blind man for 20 years that can see somebody that is doctor can talk and is, you know youth they always they they are very sharp they quickly understand things youth now came to the, those apostles after after the uh, apostle paul and peter has left that place they will put some people there to be working as a pastor and evangelist so they now establish church in rome so after the senior apostle has left, the youth now came to the one, the, those people they put there and say, Sir, if you want us to join your church, there's a way you can bring us in. If you can allow us to bring our idol into this church, then we become your member. Because if our fathers know that we forsake their idol and they see us going to church, they will curse us and kill us. If you want us to join your church to be worshipping your God, just allow us to bring our idol into your church just to disguise our fathers and then we we'll come in and worship your god when we are going to go out we we'll just bow to the idol and our father thought we are worshiping the same idol but the apostle says we cannot do that if we should do this and paul came back or peter and see us doing this they will cost us you now say okay there's a way we can do it we can change the name of that idol the idol they are worshipping in the land of Egypt, in the land of Rome that time, the name is Venus. When I'm talking about Venus, I'm talking about Queen of Heaven. The same idol the Israelites worship in the land of Canaan called Asheroth is the same idol the Roman are calling Venus. It's the same idol the Chinese are, are calling Chingmun. The Indians are calling it in Rane. The Greeks, the Greeks call her a Fostidas or Seri. So Maria call her Nana. The Romans call her Phenos. Asia country call her Sibeli. Egyptia call her Horus or Isis. The Ephesians call her Diana. And Babylonia, Babylon call her Baleti. The English people call her My Lady. Italia call her Madonna. The Latin call her Domina. 
this are this this same person i'm talking about the uh, the scandinavia call adisa etrosia call her Nitoria. so this this is how they worship her in many countries he normally appear as a e image of woman or mother and child this same person is a person they brought into that church and they say they will change her name that is why i need to warn you here please be careful the name you use in prayer any name you use if you like you call holy michael when you pray if you like you call holy gabriel even though you pray in the name of holy mary it is the holy name of Jesus Christ God has given unto us. He said he has exalted this name above every other name. By the name of Jesus Christ, every name shall bow. Any other name you used to pray behind the name of Jesus Christ, you are praying to Queen of Heaven. I did not mention any name of any church now. But please, praying by any other name apart from the name of Jesus Christ is a sin. So therefore, in this name, they pray in the name of the mother of Jesus, this and that. So this is how they bring this thing into the church and they call her some holy name to pray to God. But the genuine name of that idol is Phenos. The one they about the one they brought into the church in the land of Rome. So they say by this they have power to cause people to worship God under the anger of God. So after their own service on earth when they die when they get to the gate of heaven they will just cut this quotation and it will be impossible for them to make heaven because if heaven and earth pass away the list of the word of god will never go unfulfilled these are the area this quotation condemn billions of souls after their deaths so please if you are one of the people praying by any other name apart from the name of jesus christ you are already against the word of god go back to the bible Forget about the doctrine of your church. Go back to the doctrine of Bible. Bible can never deceive you. Any doctrine of the church can deceive you. May God bless you as you make your correction. That is how they take me back to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 19. This Deuteronomy 4, 19 is talking about uh, another religion also. They told me, I say, how do they work on this one? They say they cause some people whenever they want to serve God they bow their head to the sun and they pray and they told me that they will purposely use this thing against them and according to the uh, that chapter chapter 4 verse 19 he said when you look up to heaven you see the it is the sun the moon and the heavenly uh, heavenly array do not bow down to them or do not allow them to entice you to worship them so therefore if anybody now go against that quotation but bow down to anything at all if they get to heaven they will also condemn them that is why you see some religion bowing down to the sun i do not mention any any religion name but if you're a bible scholar you will read it there the Deuteronomy 4 19 so in any way you worship god by bowing down to any image or anything god created you have committed a sin even though this bow down to the sun this is right from the bible in the book of ezekiel chapter 8 when you read from verse 16 ezekiel 8 16 you will get the whole thing there he talk about let me read it out for you he said son of man he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord and there are the entrance to the temple between the portico and the altar where about 25 men which their back towards the temple of the Lord and their face towards the heat they were bound down to the sun in the east he said to me have you seen this son of man it is a trivial matter for the house of judah to do this terrible this terrible thing they are doing here must they also fill the land with violence and continually provoke me to anger look at them putting the branch to their nose therefore i will deal with them in anger i will not look on them with pity or spare them although they shout in my ear i will not listen to them 
you may be reading this quotation for a long time you may not know this thing is talking about some religion you see god they did they performed this thing in the house that solomon built if you read very well you understand it they, they, they this religion started from the temple of solomon there are 25 people that started this religion it is not only one man they shout up and down that man is not the is not the founder of that religion it is these 25 men that started that religion and the name of that court is 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 well known but i will not mention the name of that court in this case so these are the 25 men started that religion by bow down to the sun and the bible the god say in this verse that he will he will never have mercy on them he will and he will, he will, he, his anger is arose upon them even though they shout louder in his ear he will not listen to them that means god is not pleased with the way they watch it and these people are really trying please if you are under this thing i'm not against you but i'm reading bible now even though you don't believe me believe the bible even though you see me as a liar believe the word of god because i will die you will die but the word of god will never die please and please i'm not saying i'm wiser than you but even though my experience in the kingdom of darkness is a lie what about the bible even the book of john 16 if you read from verse 1 he talk about it you see a time is coming when they they will enter into synagogue they will drive you out even a time is coming when some people will kill you they will believe they are worshiping god they will kill you and they will think they are fighting for god bible talk much about these people so please beware no man can fight for god god know how to fight for himself so therefore please and please if truly you believe bible read and make correction in bible because we are all doing religion nobody know the best it is only god that know the best and it's only that god that know the best that write this thing by his spirit he direct people and make them to write if truly you believe bible you must believe this word so this they now explain to me that in their kingdom this is what they are doing they cause people they deceive them to worship god under the anger of god so that they can use the same thing to condemn them after their death so they now told me that as i enter this kingdom what they want to use me for is to be using me to establish a um, temple all over i mean the shrine for worshiping idol so they train me for this for some years and started coming to this world they will they will, they will burn me somebody will burn me i will grow after some years i will die i don't die premature at times i die at the age of 70 80 i will grow i will have my wife i'll burn children but my main purpose in that country is to live with them to know their they, what they like what they hate their waking points and i know how to arrange god for them and this is how we establish our idols if you want to establish we live among them we know their waking points their sickness everything so if you want to force a state or a city to worship a new idol that we brought we will cause sickness among them is that they'll be dying terrible sickness or we can we can send the spirit of gog or magog to another country or another village to come and fight them killing them and when there's something dangerous when they see people dying they started going out up and down consulting oracle so from this consulting they will now tell them that they should go to so person he have the solution of their problem they will now direct them to me and i will now tell them that until this they establish so so thing watching so idol their problem will be over and truly if i give them the idea they will open that they will establish that thing they will build it for me and when they build it we tell them to start worshiping and when they worship their problem will be over truly and this is how they will turn it to god i've been born in many countries as a christian you may be arguing with me that it's been mandated to a man to die once and after that judgment true bible did not die bible did not lie it is true that man is being mandated to die once but let me tell you something after that if you are not a good child of god it is only if you are a good child of god if you die if you have holy spirit when you die then there's angel called escort angel they will come and 
um, they will come and welcome you they will take your soul and protect you to a place for that soul to rest but if you don't have holy spirit either you believe me or not there are some demon available waiting for you to give up they will jack your soul and take you to their kingdom do you know that many of us we did not reach our age before you die the only thing that can make you to go to the land of death is when you die at the appropriate age but if you dare die before your age you are not going there you will go to another kingdom to start serving there even though you don't believe me if you are in, in, if you are in nigeria especially yoruba yoruba know what we call abiku some somebody will die now and uh, under some months you will see as he died they will cut the hand the leg if they if they burn that person again that place they cut the mark will be there if they cut the face as they burn that person again the mark will be there and some of them even though when they burn them again they will still have the memory of how they burned them last time the former cloth they are using when they see it, they will say yeah this is my cloth the former shoe they are using before they die when they say they say this is my shoe you yourself will know that this is a child that died before that come back many people as they are listening to me now they can testify to it if you argue others will not argue god has given devil this power he doesn't drag it with him because he has suited a date for judgment anything you like you can do on it you can keep people you can destroy but the day is coming that every destroyer shall be destroyed so it is you your life as a child of god that god is targeting that is why god sent his son to come and die for us if god wants to destroy the devil he will not even send jesus christ to come and suffer he is the creator he can destroy but he has programmed it he has time for it so that is why he gave us grace for life and death you need to choose the one you like by yourself there's also a man in the bible that god give grace to come back the second time i'm talking about john the baptist if you go to the book of matthew you will see there matthew 11 when you read from from verse 14 he say and if you are willing to accept to accept it he is the elijah who was to come he's talking about john baptist there so god also give john baptist i mean elijah opportunities to come back the second time i'm not preaching reincarnation now but i'm telling you how i come about going and coming and devil can perform any miracle it's not moving god the greatest miracle that devil is not expecting is uh, is destruction mass destruction of, of heaven and earth by the anger of god it's not even miracle to devil self he know that he's coming he know he himself is preparing himself his host and every being on earth that is why you need to single yourself out by the by by the grace of god and live a holy life so therefore i mean i've been in this kingdom working for them from one country to another and this is how we penetrate into human being if you want to come to the world we will come out we, we, we will come to the world in spirit we don't have flesh we will mark any woman we like if we, we, we see the face the stash oh, this is the one i want to resemble we mark any woman we like or any man then we follow that person to the house if the person is still a single not yet married we program he or her marriage very fast because we want to use our body so even though the person is holy we, we will release sexual hug upon that person to extend will surely go and fornicate and pregnant and if that person dear about he will die so when we get when they get home when is, they are in the act of sexual uh, that sexual action we will as a spirit we will be watching these two spam as these two spam two spam jam together as he enters into the womb as the oven is giving the warm temperature on it as it's about to turn to flesh then the spirit will enter together the flesh will build together with the spirit and it will turn to baby and everybody will say they give back to a new born baby that is why i give this advice every couple if you want to meet together either you you prepare for baby or not 
try and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let's fire that place with the fire of the Holy Ghost before you have sexual intercourse so that you will not produce demons to this world. So please, that is why in Christian home, we have many children that do not resemble their father and mother in character. They are so strange, they def behave different to the whole family because they don't know that when they are meeting together, there are some unseen spirits programming against their intercourse. And I pray every one of you, they have been in this type of condition or maybe things like this in your family, the Lord that touched my life, that changed me, will touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. But if the one you born is not human being, if it's a demon reincarnate, the Lord will fruit you eat out of your family so that there will be peace in that house in the name of Jesus Christ. So that is how, as I going from one country to another, establishing temple up and down. This is how I work with this country kingdom for many years until I, I started having promotion anywhere they bomb me I will have prom I will proper there any assignment given to me any contract I'm so good I pros prosper in all things given to me then I started having promotion promotion until I get one rack to another and I get to the higher level to extend I become one of the executive member of the kingdom of darkness in superior realm so this executive I'm talking about we, we normally go for an annual meeting. I mean, in that meeting, we do annual budget and annual report. So, and this budget is always come up around this, uh, around uh, September, October. You know, in the world, we normally do budget maybe early of the year. But in the kingdom of darkness, is the towards ending of the year, we normally do it. So, this year, I'm talking about, we went to the uh, annual meeting where we give annual report and every year when we give the report you see each one of us in that meeting each person represents a continent one person will represent Africa one person will represent Asia or one person will represent Israel so that is how so we are we are not that many but we are executive so somebody can stand up and say in my own continent ah uh, it is two million people that died this year it is uh, 700 people that, that, that we are afflicted with sickness. This year, it is uh, 300 people that backslide. This year, uh, some, uh, 400 people will give them fibroid. This year, so they will just be giving reports of the bad things, the havoc things they have done. So, as they work, so their promotion, their power, some people, when they want to give them, they will add more demons to their demons they can give some people another additional twenty thousand demons demon to be working with them so that their work will be effective very well some they will give them some power snake scorpion many of many weapon arrows so that their work can be faster and they will also give report of those people that got initiated in a year let me tell you something in a local government if you have 10 winch in a local government either you believe it or not under a year that 10 winch must be must be multiplied to 100 because in the kingdom of darkness now the assistant is that they must initiate multiplication it is christendom we don't care about multiplication but in the kingdom of darkness multiplication is the most powerful assignment because they will used to tell them every year that rapture will soon take place they don't want just to have any candidates they want the rapture to stand and they, they don't want anybody to rapture they want just Christ to score a zero so that, that, that's why they are very fast in initiating people in the olden days before they initiate you you will go to their meeting they will tell you to bring this they will tell you to do this they will tell you to make covenant to do this but now either you like it or not you must be initiated either by dream or in the school that is why I'm going to tell you how they initiate people. So, it is only by the grace of God you can be safe. Because even things you buy in the market, I will tell you how they initiate people. So, they will tell the number of the people they initiated. And then, after the whole thing, the person can be promoted. This house that I giving our reports one by one. But the last people that normally give reports, they are the people called international demons. These are the people that normally stay 
in the middle of heaven and earth at the entrance gate these are the people that know how many people that go to hell in a year and how many people that go to heaven in a year so these people their name is called international demon they are the people that daniel called prince of persia they are the people that are that in that the angel of daniel that's giving the that god has sent to give uh, daniel the answer of his prayer so these people they are they have power to to hijack man our the answer of prayer on somebody's life after death so they are, they are the people that welcome man when you are coming to this world and when you are going back they welcome you also so they know the number of people that make heaven in a year and number of people that go to hell in a year so that day they now stand up with their bad face they are not happy we all wonder why these people are not happy because they always cheerful they laugh they are so great they always always feel great whenever they want to talk so this day they now come up with a bad face we wonder why what is happening and when they started talking they say this year the people that make heaven they are almost 15 or above wow and it has never happened like that since i joined them because since I've joined them, all what I hear them saying, they can say this year, and eh, it is only two people. If we, at times it's very scarce to see five in a year, as we as Christian and born again are numerous in this world, and people die every day. Did you know, Christian? Did you believe that at times for good three years a single soul will not make heaven? You may not believe me. If people are making heaven. God will not be raising people every day. God, the Holy Spirit will not be crying every day. People are dying, but they did not get, they will not, they did not get to heaven. They are all rushing to hellfire. Did you know that? In the whole world, in the whole universe. Did you know that people die every year? They are above 25 million. And 25 million going to hell every year. And heaven, nobody is entering there. But this one, this report this year, that year is very, very different. And that day, the whole place was scattered. Everybody was angry. Devil himself cried, roared like a lion with anger. Scattered everywhere. Injured many people. Released fire bomb. Many people say, "Why do you want to destroy my kingdom? Do you want to? Do you, do you want? Do you want to destroy me? How should you allow fifty people to make heaven in a year? It's dangerous. If people start making heaven like this every year, the main rapture will quickly take place. Don't you know that because there's no people to sit on this seat, that is why rapture is still delayed." So, if the number quickly complete, then our time will be over. So he was annoyed. He now summoned the astrologers. They should go and browse, and they should go into the internet. Let me tell you something about this internet. You see, internet. This internet has been existing for long, for long. It is late hour deal before you people on earth discover what we call internet. This website has been there even before the time before the time of garden uh, adam and eve in the garden of eden because these people their intellectual their their intellectual is very very wide more than us so and in other series i will i will define what we call computer for you you will know the meaning of computer so if you if you are proud that you are the you are in computer age you are joking that means you are in antichrist age I greet everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. My listener, this is a continuation of the testimony that I was saying before in series one. My name is Evangelist Fumilayo Adebayo. I told you in series one that I'm going to tell you many things about attachment, earring, palming, and bleaching of body. All those things, many things I told you, I'm going to tell you in series one, which I've never point out. 
I'm still going to continue in stories too. I did not forget them all. And I stop it when I talk about what our meeting in the, when they are giving annual annual report in the kingdom of darkness. Where they uh, where I talk about computer. If there's time, chance for me in this series, I will explain. And if I cannot explain it all in this series, I'll see me to in series three. But what I'm, as, I'm, as, I, as I stop in series one, I'm talking about the reports in the meeting of darkness. So when they, they now send the astrologers to go and make research in order to know what caused this problem, they now go and make research. In their research, they discover that this barrier got broken in the land of Africa and Nigeria. That place is Nigeria. When I discover it, they now discover in Nigeria, they will now command them to go and verify who is that person that break that caused this problem but the report make me afraid because they came out with a report of a man that i make judgment for in the kingdom of darkness when i'm in california that man called opposed to ayodele Babalola, the the the, the 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 founder of the church called cac christ apostolic church so that is the man i make judgment for in his kingdom in our kingdom that time and I told you that the domain I make for that man is that I I program demon and I recognize that demon as a human being and I make him to marry that wife. And truly physically on earth, I'm sorry to say, those people that are member of that church that know the story of that church very well, they knew that the very woman that man married did not repent he should die not that she doesn't want to repent but even though she repent god will not accept her because it's a demon reincarnate so if you know about that church story very well you will know that i'm not lying so we program anything about that church but i thank god that god helped that man called apostle to overcome the power of this woman even though this woman disturbed him so much but still this man make heaven glory be to god and i pray that church the mighty hand of god will come upon that church and destroy every other thing that remain every other plantation of devil in that church and the church will live and go to the glory of the lord in jesus name so as i was saying it was the case of this man that come up they say it was this man that cause that break the barrier that make numbers of people to make everyone like that and argument said say how can a single man break our our own is it so strong? Is it is it is it the message that is so powerful? Is it the anointing that is so powerful? And the astrologers now told us that it is not it is not message or anointing. But this man just give an order to the church and say that all the members of that church must not use jewelries, gold, and they must not use jewelries at all. And then they now say, hey, how how will that affect kingdom of heaven? Then I now raise up my hand in their meeting because I have. I've already come across this thing before at the gate. I have the experience. And in, the, in that meeting, if you want to talk, if you raise up your hand, before you talk, a screen will appear. As you are talking, whatever you are talking will, be, will, be, will appear on the screen as if you are watching film. If you dare pronounce a single lie, that screen will be blank. And if you blank, they will know that you lie so that you go unpunished. So I nobody can just stand up there and line. So I just raise up my hand and say, it may be true because I've come across things like that before when I visit the international demo at the gate of heaven. They now allow me to talk. There was a day I was going to hellfire to mark a record because in my position, I've been promoted to a higher level that I have access to go to hellfire. You see, when I'm still in the kingdom of darkness, I go to hellfire. It doesn't burn me. I don't know that it's hot. I don't know they are deceiving me until the very day I have encounter with Christ in an iron. When Christ himself met with me and destroyed all the power in my body, it was then I know that hellfire is hot. In other series, when I will talk about my encounter with Holy Spirit, with Jesus, then you will know that better. So, I was going to help fire to mark a record by targeting somebody we want to kill because in our level we don't kill anyone anyhow we only go to your record in hell fire because every human being on earth your name is hell fire either you believe or not the day of your naming ceremony two angels will appear 
The first angel will come from hell fire. The second one will come from heaven. In the name of your name, in the day of your name ceremony, when they mention your name, they say this baby name is John, uh, Daniel, and they, if they mention the name of your mother or in the name of your father, if the name be attached with any name of idol, the angel that came from heaven will disappear. He will not write it down because if they want to write your name, they must add the name of your father into it before your name can. If you go read your Bible very well, you know that if God wants to mention anybody, he will call them. You say, so so person, the son of so so person. If you read the Bible very well, you see that God normally mentions their father's name. So if they want to write your name in the book of life, they must write your name. Daniel, the son of David. Joshua, the son of this or that. But if the media mention your name, for example, like Nigeria, there's a language called Yoruba, Yoruba name. If they say Johnson, um, Philip, the son of Ogundari, the angel of God will not write it. God need God God need to do with your name. In the book of Revelation, chapter twenty, he say a book was open. That's the book of life. Another book was open, and anyone that his name is not written in the book of life will be cast and cast into the hell fire. Let me tell you something: the name of Idol, Ogundare, Shongobi, or Sun, he can never enter into the book of life. Forget about your position in Christian deal. Either you are a bishop, you are a reverend, you are whatever you think you are. If your name needs to do with Idol, you may be holy on earth. Your work may be acceptable, but your name will not be called in the book of life. And you can never enter there with your holiness if your name is not called. He, that is why God needs to change the name of Abraham. He changed the name of Sarah. And he also changed the name of Jacob. If Baria is not a name, God will not change this name. So your name needs to be changed if truly you are born again. Let all things pass away. Be a name with God. Don't be a name with the, with idol. He said, if you people who bear my name can change your mind, can humble yourself, can forsake your sin, Bible talk about that. So if so, if truly you want to make heaven, make sure your name needs to do with God. If your name collide with idol, that means you belong to the knowledge of idol. So therefore, note that. Make correction on your names. So, if you want to attack people to kill them in the kingdom of darkness, we go through that name. You see, everybody, that second demon, that, that second angel that comes from the air fire, he can write anybody's name. Maybe your name is Shongobi Yo, your name is Senta, Senta Devil, whatever your name is, he will write it down. He will go and record it in their registrar room in air fire. So if you are alive, you are, if you are committing sin, the blood of Jesus Christ will not be on your name. But if you are holy man, you are in Christ, blood of Jesus Christ will cover your name. When the demons come there to read, your name will be blank. They will not see it. But the moment you backslide, you go back to sin, the name will wipe, the blood will wipe away, and the name will appear. So if the name appear, if you go there, we can quickly struck that person to death before he repents. We will not allow him to repent before we kill him. But when we get there, we see that blood still cover that name. No matter how great is the is the uh, is our program upon that person we will not kill that person that moment until we see him in the act of sin before we can kill him or else if you kill him without this ma without wiping away the blood of Jesus christ he will go to heaven and we will lose the candidate and the kingdom of darkness they will punish us for losing the candidate so in our own in our own, in our own kingdom killing is not our target but destruction to hell fire is in our target so that is what I want to go and do in air fire that day. I want to go and check a name. I now decided to branch to the international demon to greet them in their position. As I was exchanging one with them, I now heard a noise, strange noise, shouting like with joy. As I now asked them, "What's the meaning of the, what is the meaning of this noise?" They told me that, "Oh, it is from the palace of the great God Almighty." I said, "What happened?" They said, "There's visitor." Whenever they have visitor, that is how they rejoice. That is where coming uh, sound. Ah, that now pains me. It baffles me because I don't believe people are still making heaven. How manage upon the old trap we set in this world? We don't believe people can still make heaven because everything on earth 
we have we have we've, we have polluted everything we believe it's not easy for anybody to make heaven again so this is now bother me and i'll wait i determine that i will wait and i will see that person how the person we we enter through the gate as we are there waiting truly the person started getting closer getting closer when it gets to the gate we discover that it's ordinary woman yeah because it is easy for man to make heaven than a woman women are very very scarce in heaven I remember when God took when Jesus Christ took me to heaven when she met, when he met me when Jesus Christ took me to heaven when he took me to the banquet hall I discover that men are more than women in the church on earth women are much but in heaven women are very very scarce because of what devil has programmed for them I will tell I will talk about that later what cast what make women not make heaven I will talk about that so in this case, we started watching this woman. When he get to the gates, they were the angel of God welcomed this woman so much. They welcome her. Suddenly, I saw the angel. They brought out an, a, a, a crown, very glorious crown, filled with star all over. There's no space in that crown, shining more than 500 stars. I said, What is this? Why is this? Star, uh, is this crown so glorious like this? They now told me that she's a she's a woman of God. She's a wife of a pastor. She's a preacher. He say that is the crown of soul winner. He say it is not. There's no crown for pastor or bishop or reverend here. Any title we give to ourselves on earth has no crown or reward here. It is only the work we do that they, they can take a reward here. He say this is a crown for. A soul winner. You see, that star I saw on the crown is the number of the soul souls that the woman won to heaven. Ha! Ah, it pains me so much. But to my surprise, as they are welcoming this woman during the welcoming process, they brought out his garment, his gown, full, very glorious garments. They did not open the gate for her. They brought out his uh, uh, throne glorious also they come and see very great estates built for this woman he appear on the screen we saw the mighty estate only for our own kingdom come and see thousands of angels assigned to be serving her in her kingdom all these things are brought out but they refuse to open gate for this woman and this woman started thinking in her mind you know in that place you don't need to talk as you think anything you have any thought you have in your mind we appear on the screen so you don't need to you cannot have bad thoughts in that place so as this woman was thinking in her mind that oh, oh let this be open for me jerry because as she, she looked back she saw the giant uh, demons behind him she was afraid of those demons so she was in haste to enter and uh, as she's having that thought the angel of god they now saw what is written in her heart they now say sorry woman you cannot enter into this place because the bible say no iniquity shall enter into the kingdom of god and the woman say what what did you mean because she's sure of her life she believed that she lived an holy life and truly she lived an holy life because in her garment there's no spots there everything is clean but the angel say she cannot enter and this must have argued no i must enter just christ even appear to me before i die i am holy i'm this and that but on the present when she was arguing the international demon down now interrupts they say woman you cannot enter according to the book of ezekiel chapter 7 verse 19 to 21 okay let me read for you ezekiel chapter 7 from verse 19 to 21 I read, he said, they will throw their sliver into the street, and their gold will be an unclean thing. Their sliver and gold will not be able to save them in the day of the Lord's wrath. They will not satisfy their wrath, their hunger, or fill their stomach with it, for it has made them to stumble into sin. They were proud of their beautiful jewelries and use it to make their decidable idol so so that and and to make their disabled idol and vile image therefore 
I will turn this into an unclean thing for them. I will hand it over as a plunder to the foreigner and, the, and as a loot to the wicked of the earth and they will devour it. Can you see this? This is the quotation they gave this woman. You may not understand this quotation. As they gave this woman this quotation, immediately this woman remember they are talking about jewelries and this woman touched her hair and she had just a little earring she believed that at least if your dressing is moderate it's not a sin that is what she believed according to the book of uh, peter so she believed it's a little one but they told her that this thing cannot make heaven before she started saying i'm sorry i don't know before she started tendering her explanation immediately there's a force that came from nowhere that force just just turned this woman face she backed the gate of heaven and faced towards the air fire and the speed took this woman running seriously look don't think you will walk majestically to air fire or somebody will throw you you will run with your leg speed and the worst part is this this woman started shouting the name of jesus christ she was shouting jesus as she was shouting jesus that is how she ran to hellfire with the name of Jesus Christ in his mouth. Look, if you are in the church, they tell you to shout the name of Jesus Christ. You don't want, you don't know, you don't, you wouldn't want to shout louder. Don't worry. If you continue a life of sin, you will shout the name of Jesus Christ for eternity in hellfire and no salvation. It is when you are still alive, you can shout the name of Jesus Christ to salvation. So please, whatever the Bible proves wrong. Let just accept it like that. You see, this woman go to hellfire because of the ignorance. She doesn't know that God go against dressing with earring and shin. She doesn't know. She only follow all other things. The Bible don't do this, don't do this. She obey. But this one particularly, she doesn't believe God did not like did not like it. And if you are there asking me, where did God write it in the Bible that we should not use earring? Or shame. I will prove it to you now. Let's let me start from this. You know, jewelries, all this ornament we put on. God did not create it for fashion. Did you know from the beginning? God did not create cement for us as a building materials. Before God caused the land, before God caused Adam and Eve, when God he created man on the sixth day. God created us as an immo, immo, uh, 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 that we are we are uh, immortality that we, we will not die. We have immortality. We will not die. But since we commit sin, we turn to mortal man. We can die. It was when God caused us, He then caused the land. Before He caused us. Because he has created us that we are going to live forever. He has produced, he has created a building materials under the ground that we'll be using to build our house that will remain forever. So that is why God created gold. Gold is being created as a building materials. You see, in the kingdom of darkness, they know the geology of this world because they are there where God created it. They know what God created everything for. They know the reason why God created it because they are there. It is their present God created everything. So they know that gold is being created by God as a building material so that it can be forever. It will not fall. It will not break. It will not crack. So when God now calls the land, it is when God calls the land, all the demons, they know we are under the anger of God. They know the presence of God is departed from us. They know the glory of God is departed from us. So they now quickly come down, pack all the treasure that God has created for us. They go and hide it in the places. That is why they pack. That is why you see before we can have our treasure, our crude oil, everything. All those engineers, they used to appeal to those demons and everything. You see, this gold is a building material. There's no cement in the beginning. It is when they pack all those things, they now remit with replace with cement. And when we use cement to build a house, later after 100 years, you see this house cracking, falling, breaking. So this gold from the beginning, God created gold as a building materials. 
not as a fashion or this thing we are using it for these days. It is idea of demons that make us to be using it the way we are using it. I'm coming. Before the Israelites using uh, their jewelries to make idol. Let me go to the time of Jacob. If you see the book of Genesis 35, when God called Jacob to gather his people to meet with him, Genesis 35, I read from verse 1. Then God said to Jacob, Go up to Bethel and set there and build an altar there to God who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Get rid of your foreign gods you have with you and purify yourself and change your cloth. Then come, let us go up to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, who answer me in the day of distress, and who has been with me wherever I have gone. Verse 4. So when they gave Jacob all their foreign God, they had, they had and the rings in their ear, and Jacob buried them under the hook at Shechem. But the question is this. Jacob did not tell them to remove their earring. He only tell them everything that is not pure. Everything that is not holy, they should remove it. They are idols. Specifically on idol. Every unclean thing. But to my surprise, they need to remove earring. Is earring unclean? You will answer that by yourself. For them to remove earring before they can appear to God. Mark that. Point one. Secondly, if you go to the book of Exodus chapter 32, Exodus 32, you will see where God now points out their mistake. When God bring them out of the land of Egypt, God ordered them in the book of Exodus, when you, when you read chapter 12, you will see where God ordered them to request for whatever they want from the Egyptian. And he, he, he give them favor. As they go to the Egyptian, they get pack them gold, silver, jewelry. They pack everything. God told them to collect this thing because God he have it in mind that when they get to the land, promised land is taking them to, He will use this thing as a building materials for the temple of the Lord. That is why He ordered them to collect it. He did not order them to collect it for fashion or for making an idol. So that is the aim of God by allowing them to collect all these things so that they can convert it to building materials. So when they now collected this thing, they get to the wilderness and are making an uh, idol. Let me read it for you. Exodus 32. Let me read from verse 3. So all the people took off their earring and brought them to Aaron. He took what they had dead unto him and made it into an idol cast the shape of a calf fashion it with a tooth then they said these are your god O israel who brought you all out of egypt can you see that they transfer the glory of god onto idol if you read your bible very well you know this statement God always claim it. I am your God who brought you out of the Egypt, who delivered you from the power of the uh, uh, Pharaoh. He always, God, God feel big in it. This language, God so, God so cherishes it very much. This is a power, this is a statement that God always proves upon Israelites. Imagine, this thing that God exalted his name from. He touched Pharaoh, he hidden his at so that he can proclaim his mighty, mighty mightiness upon the whole world now they now use carry all the glory and give ordinary idol that is why the anger of the lord arose and say this idol and that thing you used to made it i don't want to see you upon you that is why the bible says our body is a temple of the lord no iniquity shall dwell in it whenever i want to quote it we always mention demons we only not only demon Anything irritating must not remain in your body. Some people will say, eh, God is not, God has nothing to do with our body, it's our, it's our soul. It's a lie. Oh. God needs to do with your soul, both your body and your soul. If you go to the book of Romans, Romans chapter 12, he said, 
I beseech you, give your body as a holy sacrifice unto the Lord. Only your body, you don't say your soul, you don't say your heart. He's talking about body there. If God wants to talk about heart, he will talk about heart. If you want to talk about body, he will talk about body. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, if you read verse 26, he said, I'll give you a new heart, a new spirit. He did not talk about body there. But here in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, he said, Give your body as a living, as a holy sacrifice to the Lord. So don't allow any pressure. To, to, to deceive you don't allow anybody to tell you that god is concerned about soul art not body but your body and your soul is for god you must consecrate yourself for god in a holy way so that is why in this place they they they, they need to remove their injuries and make an idol since that day God told the Israelites that they must not put anything called jewelries in their body anymore. Anytime you want to come to them, to visit them, or to journey with them, if you see jewelries upon them, God is always annoyed. You may be there and say, all this thing you are talking about is this story, until you can point me where God command the Israelites not to use it. That is where I want to quote for you now. Go to the book of Ex- Exodus 32. Let me read for you. Verse 1. When the people, sorry, yes, from verse 1, he said, Then the Lord said to Moses, Leave this place, you and the people you brought up out of Egypt, and go up to the land I promised an oath to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. Verse 2. I will send an angel before you and drive out the Canaanites, Amorites, Hittites, and Perizzites, Evit and Jebusites. Verse 3. Go up to the land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go with you because you are stiff naked people. Imagine, before I can call them stiff naked people, that means he has been giving them warning severally on something he wants to talk about. Say, because you are still naked people, and I might destroy you on the way. Verse 4. When the people heard this distress word, they began to mourn, and no one put on any ornament. Listen. In the land of Israel, if they are not happy, if they are in sorrow, if they are mourning, what they normally do, they will tear their clothes. They will shave their hair. They can put ashes on themselves. So to show that they are in sadness. But in this case, they did not take their clothes. Though. They did not shave their hair. Though. What they started, the first thing they started doing is that removing their ornament. Why? Because they know that is what God is talking about. The theologians can change it for you. They can talk another thing. Though. But this person is talking about jewelry, ornaments. So don't allow any Bible scholar to turn it upside down for you. He said they should remove it. I read verse 5. He said, For the Lord has said to Moses, Tell the Israelites, You are stiff naked people. If I were to go with you, even for a moment, I might destroy you. Destroy you. He now say, Now take off your ornament, and I will decide what to do for you. Imagine. God now see that they are mourning. They are, some of them have been removed. He now say, okay, now, because you have been crying, you have been mourning, you have been fasting and praying, tell them to remove all their ornaments before I can know maybe I will still follow you or not, before I can take my decision on you, before I can know maybe I will still go along with you. Let them remove this ornament away before I can take my decision on you. Why God is telling them to remove ornaments? What problem did God have with this ornament? So if truly you say you are a descendant of Abraham, if truly you claim Abraham's blessing is yours, if truly you can jump from New Testament to Old Testament and claim Abraham's blessing, but whenever we talk about do not, do not, do not in the Old Testament, you condemn it. This, that one is Old Testament. But Abraham's blessing, blessing in the Old Testament, you are claiming it. If you can claim the blessing in the Old Testament, the law in the Old Testament is also for you. So, 
if God can command the Israelites not to use ornament, he say he don't want to see it or he can destroy it. Imagine, God ate this thing to extend he can destroy them. That is why you Christian, if truly you want to make heaven. Though, the reason why we are using it today in the church and we are not dying, fire did not fall. Because God Almighty is no more going on with people. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has taken over from God and now Holy Spirit has taken over from Jesus. We are under grace. Don't worry. Thunder will not kill you in the church today. Fire will not burn. But don't forget that a day is coming you will die on edge with hearing in your ear. You will dress like idol with the irritating things that caused God that arose God's anger. You will die and appear like that. It is then the anger of God in Exodus 33 that make God to say you want to destroy the Israelite if they don't remove it. The same anger will appear on you. If you appear with that thing that caused God to be annoyed, the same anger of that day will come upon you. So if you use jewelries on earth, that does not stop your prayer not to be answered. You can do miracle with it. You may use jewelries. Holy Spirit can still talk to you because you are under grace. But if you die and you appear to God with this, mind you, if heaven and earth pass away, the list of the word of God will never go unfulfilled. Make sure you do not argue with the word of God. You may argue with my word. I'm a human being. I can lie. But the Bible will never, never lie. I can lie. I can deceive you. I'm a human being. I'm a flesh. But God will never, never lie. He's not a human being. I'm quoting it out from Bible. Your Bible, what is written here in my Bible, is there in your own Bible. If you don't believe my fashion, reach your own fashion. The same meaning it is there. So please, if truly, you see this, my message is for everyone This message is not for the people that go to church because of the riches in the world. I'm not saying this because of the people that need miracle in the church. I'm not saying this because of the people that open church for business. Any pastor that open church for business will never take this message. Any pastor that open church for initiation will never take this message. But if you see any pastor, any child of God that have mind to take people to heaven, that have hope of rapture, they must, even though they, they, must, they don't take my message, they must take the word of God in the Bible. Even though I'm lying, will your Bible lie? So therefore, follow the Bible even though you don't follow my word. God spoken here, not prophet spoken. God say, remove your ornament before I will decide what to do for you. If God can command Israel to remove their ornament, are you not a descendant of Abraham? Is Abraham not the father of the Israel? If truly you are from the same line, the same word of God come to you today. If you see people dressing like a suit, they don't put on earrings, do all these things. Do you think they are full? Everybody loves to be beautiful. You may say that the gate of heaven is made by gold. The gate of this is made by gold. Yes, the gold in heaven is the made for what they created it for. Okay? The gold in heaven has never been used to make idol. But the one in, on this earth has been defied. The one on this earth has been, been overthrown by the demons. Okay? So, the only way you can use gold that can please God is to use it for what God created it for. That is why God ordered Solomon to build his temple with golds. Many golds. So, if you use gold as a puppet in your church, it's a building, materials, house, material, no problem. If you use it as a spoon, as a plate, it's not a sin. But don't use it on your temple because this temple, this your body is a temple of the Lord. Iniquity must not dwell there. So that is why you must be careful. Your body belongs to God. You can't use the way you like. You can't use your body the way you like. You must please God with your body. Please take this message. I proceed. So this is how in our meeting that day, we come about to know that this, our dressing, ornament, it has been destroying many souls. And we are very happy that day to bring out that point. And we specify, and, 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 and we now take this point as another power to be using mightily in our kingdom. So, 
as I round up shy in that, as we round up in that meeting, we now concluded that that person called Ayodele Babalola, we must deal with him and his ministry. So we sent many agents to Nigeria to come and attack him. But glory be to God, as many as they sent to Nigeria to come and attack this man, he, he will just stand up one day in the church and say, I release the fire of the Lord, the angel of the Lord, to arrest the spirit of darkness in these places. And they will got them arrest. You see them conversing, they will confess, and they will, they will repent. It is only the demon, demon they can eat. They, if they pray like that, they die. But the genuine woman being that being possessed, when they pray for them, they will be delivered. And most of them will turn to lead the evangelists, they will turn to pastor, and they will start losing many candidates. That is why they, they, they now hold another meeting in order to, to make research for uh, superior uh, experienced people, uh, those that can do the contract very well. That is how they now detect me out in some years later that I, I should be the one that will come to Nigeria to eradicate those dangerous doctrine that that man established. You see, let me tell you something. You can ask me that, what about many men of God, women of God that have died? And won't they make heaven? I can't answer that question. But I'm telling you what I know. You see, Apart from me, many children of God, many years ago, they have been giving testimony about these jewelries. Many will sleep. God will appear to them. Jesus will appear to them. Many will be in trance. They will show them that they should remove their jewelries. They should remove their attachment before they can make heaven. Many have been giving this testimony even before Jesus Christ met me. If you don't believe me, what about others? Do you think everybody are fool? No. So please don't argue with your eternity. Even though I'm lying here, whatever that is going to make, that is going to hinder you from making heaven, better sacrifice it. If it is your beauty, sacrifice whatever you have here. You cannot mention it with eternity. Anything at all that kingdom of heaven will get from you, sacrifice it, overlook it, because your beauty your money, whatever you have, you can compare it with eternity. So please, even though you are a Bible scholar, even though you know more than me, I'm talking about heaven here. We are not talking about a period or some days or country. Heaven is forever. So please, don't argue with your eternity. No matter how you cherish your queries, your beauty, better sacrifice whatever it takes before it will be too late. May God give you grace to please God. So, in our meeting, we just are being assigned to come and wage war against Africa because of the man that be called Apostle Adeli Babalola. But when they give me this assignment, the assignment given to me to come and do in Nigeria is to pollute the Christian deal. Means bringing world into the church. And taking church back to the world everything doing outside the world will be doing in the church and people will not know the difference my assignment is to blame few people that to extend they will not know different between Deborah and Delilah and there must be different between Deborah and Delilah you must recognize Deborah when he appear and Delilah must be recognized when he appears. But now in the church, you will not know the difference between prostitute and child of God. They dress the same way. No, you cannot make heaven with this. There must be different between darkness and light. What is, it? what is the friendship in darkness and light? No, no, no. There's no friendship among them. There must be different. So that is why you need to be very, very careful. Don't be deceived. Don't allow devil to deceive you. I read from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. Not only that, chapter 6, verse 14 says, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do, what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? What does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? That means you must not have something in common with them. 
if your dressing is in common with them if the way you behave you talk is in common with them that means you are part of them you must not have things in common verse 16 says what agreement is there between the temple of god and idol for we are the temple of the living god as god has said i will live i and i will live with them and walk among them and i will be their god and they will be my people therefore verse 17 come out from them and be separate your 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 your, your dressing room must be separated from the world your attitude there must be different if nothing is making you different that means you are still in the world you are not in the christ so if the attitude the speech the movement of the apostle can make them to call them christian that means there's a way christian christ behave there's a way christ does things that make him to be different if they can recognize the apostle for their attitude and they call them christian you too must be different among multitude so it's verse say verse 17 say therefore come out from them and be separate say the lord touch no unclean things and i will receive you that means if you are not different from there god will not receive you after death beware of this you may doubt me but don't doubt the word of god i spoken here i will die you listening here you will surely die one day but my word will never die i will die you will die the word you are listening today will never die the word will be repeated in the day of judgment that is why i'm warning you people even though you you don't like this message even though the message is not pleasant to your hearing beware of the hunger of god obey god there's a tract i wrote the tract topic say obey the last command if you don't obey preacher if you don't obey bible a language will come at last that's the language of death you must obey death if you don't obey every other person if death say give me your life you cannot argue and if you obey the last command if you die in sin that means you die forever so the last command is the word of god which you must obey so please beware of this testimony do not allow this testimony i'm giving today on your hearing to condemn you after death so as i was saying my assignment in nigeria is to come and pollute the christian dion they told me that i must use i must use their dressing to to to, um, to drive away the presence of god from the church because when god wants to appear to jacob he know that if they don't remove those iniquity those irritating things god will not appear there are some things if if he's in the church the presence of god will not appear you may argue with me that in your church miracle happen in your church they speak in tongues in your church they do they used to hear the word of the voice of god no problem <clears throat> did you know we have thousands thousand gods especially if you say you have you hear voice you see vision did you think all vision comes from god did you think all thing you hear is from god when you say heaven do you know how many heaven we have do you know that this queen of heaven have his own heaven don't you hear bible say god exalted he himself is thrown above the heavens he's dwelling in the above the heaven so we still have many heaven that is why he say this heaven and earth will pass away not the heaven that god dwelleth. there are some heavens which they can pollute you they can they can deceive you calling themselves god don't you hear bible say they disguise themselves as the angels of god beware of that god is speaking to you in sin you are committing sin you are dressing like jezebel you are dressing like a demonic people and you say god is speaking to you i particularly have dwelt with them i've reigned with them for many years i know how they operate i never believe a man can dress like jezebel and the spirit of god almighty is dwelling with you it's a lie i'm not condemning you if god can save me he can still save you only if you give him chance you may argue with me but you will not argue after that you may argue with me as you are listening now but you will never never argue after that be careful if you think i'm lying at last you discover it's true 
will you have another chance to come to life? That is why you must think twice before you condemn my message. As I was saying, this is how I started my assignment. Before I came to Africa for my assignment, I need to consult the superior ones that have been there before me. Those that understand things going on in the kingdom of darkness. I need to consult Queen of the Coast. I consult many kingdoms for their advice so that they can put me through so that I will not make mistakes because African assignment is a very difficult assignment which many people have fall away from. So, and they promised me that if I can, if I can pass, if I can succeed in this assignment, they will promote me to a position that being vacant since the day of Christ. There's a woman in the Bible called Mary Magdalene. Since Jesus Christ has delivered that woman, her position has been so difficult for anybody to come to. If you know a woman called Victoria Aito, he's an African. She's a woman that wedded with the devil. It was the time they want to promote her to that position. Jesus Christ got her arrested. It was this same position they promised me if I can succeed in Africa assignment, they will promote me to that position. But since they have been appointing people for this position, Jesus Christ normally arrests them. That is why if God delivers, He will give you total deliverance. Anybody Jesus Christ deliverance deliver, He will never go back into it. So if you are there, you say that, don't mind them. If they confess, they always go back. That will never be my portion in Jesus' name. If order fall, that does not mean that I will fall. If you see order die, that does not mean that you should pronounce death to others. I decide to live forever in Christ. I will never go back. For those who pray for me every day, the Lord will enable you also to make heaven. But if you condemn me, mind you, God did not condemn me. I will remain in this world by the grace of God. And the word of God shall strengthen me and I will make heaven. So please, I'm not telling you to love me or to like my message, but hold on to, hold on to the word of God. What I'm saying is this. In that our meeting, as I go to them for advice, they now give me keys how I can do it. But in the kingdom of darkness, they say I should go, I should go and prepare my proposal before they will give me, approve my assignment. And in, our, in the kingdom of darkness, before we carry out any assignment or contract, we do proposal. And your proposal, there must be quotation of Bible that will use against anybody that will fall under your trap. So, and in my, quote, in my proposal, the quotation I give is Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1 from verse 26. I read Romans chapter 1 verse 26. I read from here. He said, Because of this, God gave them over to shameful loss. Even their women exchanged natural relations, relations for unnatural. You may say, What's the meaning of this? He said, Women exchange natural. Anything called natural is natural. Is either sexual or the part of your body. He said, Women exchange natural for unnatural. And when he get to verse 32, he now released the judgment. He said, Although they know God righteousness decree that those who do such things deserve death. It means that anybody, it's not only that verse to the end though, or they mention many sins there. But I'm just telling you the one I point out for my own purpose, proposal. So you now say anybody that did this, especially anybody that changed natural for natural, either sexual or dressing. So far, you just change the natural thing God gave to you to unnatural. The Bible says you deserve death. And uh, he said, they not only continue to do this very thing, but also approve of those who pre pre uh, practice in them. This one is talking about some people, they say they are born again. They don't do it, but they have salon. If anybody bring attachment or bring relaxer, they will do it for them. If you say you are not doing it and you are doing it for somebody, you are also being condemned. That is why if you say you are not there, separate from them. So, these are the quotations I put in my proposal and some other quotations like that. And they accepted it from me. So, that is why they gave me the contract. And when I want to start my work, 
polluting the Christian deal. I start from establishing fake churches because if there's no counterfeit, you will not appreciate the original. We need to establish counterfeit, then the original will know what they are, they are doing. So we need to establish counterfeit church before we can have counterfeit church. We must have counterfeit ministers in the kingdom of darkness. Let me tell you something. You ministers listening to this, some people, some ministers say they are righteous, they are holy, and they know that some people are evil, and they will get themselves. They started praying against them. All oh, fake prophets, that eh, I will disgrace you. Yes, God can answer that prayer, but not the way you are expecting it. Let me tell you one secret: devil are wise in their kingdom, but they are powerless. Holy Spirit make us wiser than them. If we obey the word of God, you'll be wise. But if you commit sin, you become fool. In the kingdom of darkness, all the power they use for miracle, let me just tell you the truth. Devil doesn't have power for miracle. It is the power given to real genuine minister of God from heaven that they collect by sexual intercourse and they give they, they take it to their store. They store it and they use it to ordain their fake ministers. That is why you see them walking the way the children of God walking. They do miracles like Jesus. That is why you see whenever you pray against them, it doesn't affect them because they are using the same power of God against the work of God. Then they will not have power for miracle. This is how we collect it from the children of God. We have women, agents. When a minister of God is powerful, when the anointing of God is highly filled up in him, we will send this our agents, we can send them as a worker in the church, as a sponsor of the church, they will get close to the pastor, they will be too good to pastor, they will be humble to pastor, pastor will have special interest in them because they are good. If man is good, you must know he's good. So they are ready to give whatever they have to the, to the ministry. And uh, from this, they will be closer to the minister. And from there, that we may use them. We may use they may use this opportunity to try and initiate and to seduce pastor and if this pastor can mistakenly fall in love with this agent i have sexual intercourse with them this is how we do it we have snake in the private part of those women if pastor just have sexual intercourse with them and release in their body either you use condom or not whatever you use the real spam will go straight to the body of that woman and the snake in the private part will open mouth and swallow this spam. And in the night, this snake will now move out. Go to the lab in the marine world. You will vomit this spam there. When it's vomit, they will scan it. They will know the level of this glory, the anointing, this spam. Do you know that all men listen to this? Your glory, your riches, your everything you have in earth is in your spam. That is why if you spam any woman anyhow, your glory may be shattered away. Both anointing and glory, all is stored in the spam. That is why if you fornicate too much before your marriage, you may not be you may you may not give birth to good children because all the glorious thing in your spam has been given out to useless women. That is why when you fornicate, you can soul off your life and your eternity from it. So from this spam, we take the anointing and we store it to prepare our fake ministers. So, when we prepare them, and listen, this is our fake minister, we, are, we endow them with wisdom. They have wisdom. They are wise. Let me tell you something. There's something we call microchip implanted. Even these fake ministers of God, they have, they have riches in the word of God more than you. Want. Because all the computer has been implanted into their brain by the micro, my, my, my Microsoft. So, we have installed all the quotation, every statement in the Bible in their brain. So when they preach, you see them, they will quote it, they will quote this, they will quote it, they will interpret it. When they preach, you genuine man of God will open your mouth as if you are a dumb. You are a mumu. You'll be surprised. Hey, God is great. The man is talking. Be careful. Go back to the Bible. Forget about what they talk. Forget about how good they are. Go back to the Bible. God is there in your Bible. Beware. Don't follow their deceit. They may write many... No, uh, novel. I too, I read novel, but don't be carried away from it. They may say seven true word of God, and they will have to lie into it. That seven true they say will make you to admit the two lies, and you'll be deceived. So please, 
Anytime you read Nove, go back to Bible. Anything you read there that is not along with the faith you have in the Bible, be careful. I'm not telling you, I'm not mentioning anybody's name for you. But I myself, particularly talking to you here, I have more than 2,000 ministers. I have ordained from the Marine Kingdom and they have established church in this world and they are generous here today. They are operating their dream miracle today and nobody can stop them unless God. I myself have gone to I've gone to some of them in order to do resuscitation. They need to call to police station and police and arrest me. They say I'm a liar. They say I'm mad. I've tried to rescue them. They refuse because they believe it is God that called them. Don't you know? This is how I call them. In the dream, I will go to them in their dream. I will talk like a God, like God. I will say, if the name is Samuel, I will say, Samuel, hear the voice of God. I'm the God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I want to send you a message. Carry your cross and follow me. I want to send you to the world to, 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 to deliver my people from the power of darkness, to stop them from worshiping idols, to save their soul. I will give you anointing and power for healing, for breakthrough, for blessing. Comfort my people and I will, I, will, I will honor you. I will bless you. I will give you power to go through all over the world and I will be with you. I am your God Almighty. And the person, if he wake up, won't that person think it is God? He will believe it is God that is talking to him because... According to the Bible, that is how God calls his people. Because we are being trained to imitate God and his angel. If we don't deceive, how would they follow us? So that is how I call many people. And all these signs that follow genuine call, we also follow. If they refuse, we can affect them, we can give them problems, they can start there in the work, their business can spoil. All the system God uses in calling the same system we use. Children of God, beware. I'm not saying God did not call people. God is still calling people. But ask very well. What is the name of the God that called you? If you have called, the first thing is not to go to Bible college. The first thing is to go into prayer. Give yourself long days of prayer. Ask very well so that you don't regret. What is the name of the God that called me? Are you Jehovah Jireh? Jehovah God? Ask if it's Jehovah God. Quote him with the word of God so that he can, he can mention, he can tell you who he is. You can pray, pray to God, call him your, your creator. Let God expose the secrets of this call to you. The covenant of God with you, the name of your call, the land of your call. So that when you start, his covenant will be repeated. When any problem comes, you, you remind him his covenant. That is why I need to tell you that everybody here, you must go back to the word of God. Anyhow you serve God, check the bible as you as you follow please in this series i cannot finish all what i promise you follow me to series three when i will so i will explain how i how i i i do my work how i i took the church into the world i i polluted the christian dom especially by women dressing god bless you I give glory to the name of the Lord for the opportunity he gave to me on this series 3. And I pray all you listener, the Lord will give you grace to make heaven in Jesus name. As I was saying in, the, in my second series, I'm talking about my assignment in, in the Christian dome. I told you how we started by establishing fake churches because the target of my call is to eradicate the holiness in the church because we believe that if the holiness continue in the church, if they still remain in the true word of God, we don't deceive them and give them the counterfeit, then they will continue to make heaven. So therefore, that is why we started establishing fake church by calling fake ministers. And uh, apart from churches, we still have some other preparation. We still have some other, other area we work. For example, 
our preparation in gospel musician the way we deceive the choirs our work in baptism and holy communion how how we work among the workers in the church everything i will explain so when i came when i want to start my work if these people after we have ordained them finish from the water we have collected the anointed man of god star for them and uh, an anointed man of god star and spam everything for them when they come to this world they don't want to start their own church they don't start in a local way i'm not telling you that anybody that start church in a big way is from devil god can still make you to start in a big way if god wants it that way but but in the, our own people we make them to start in a big way at times some also start the terrible in a rough way and they also demo is only the only, the, only the, the only thing is that it depends on the, the level of demon that is using you if your the level of your demon that is using you is a local level you can start with poverty doesn't mean so i'm not saying that anybody that start the work of god um, in, in in poverty is only by god no any st- there's no system that devil cannot use but i'm seeing normally in our own uh, style we normally use uh, establish for our people in a better way so we we give them good location but we have these people i'm talking about they are trained one we have already taught them the type of salmon they will be giving the salmon we teach them we have trained them for it's not for salvation it's just to make toy, we, we, we only train them to teach people that you teach them to love God they will know that God is great they will know that God is good they will know he's a miracle maker they will know he do wonders God can bless them they will make them to see God as a friend but they will not allow them to remember or to see God as a God that is seriously annoyed with this world of sin they don't they will not they will not bring their mind to the destruction that is coming ahead this world they will when in their preaching they will be telling people don't commit sin they, they will not they will not touch the perceived sin the bible is talking about they will not they will not emphasize on the the common sin all every day their preaching will basic on miracle healing for example a pastor want to preach in a month maybe they do three service in a week three times four that is 12 a pastor want to preach 12 times in a month imagine 12 times in a month he preach about miracle success breakthrough power faith good but out of these three 12 message he can he find it very difficult to 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 give a topic of holiness a topic of righteousness he find it difficult to preach about the fear of God or even any topic they they give they will still round up with blessing and miracle let's change I'm telling you if you see any pastor preaching like that know that he's one of the agents of darkness he's either registered agent or ignorant agent what I mean by ignorant agent is that some people are working for devil they don't know that it's devil they are working for they thought it's God did not go to shrine did not go to darkness did not make covenant but ignorantly they are working for devil because they are someone their system is the same system of darkness so if you see a pastor in a month preaching about miracle wonderful powerful faith and eh, love god it's good to love god jesus christ also say love your god love your god if you love god you will not haunt god you will not you will not do the thing that will that will make God to be annoyed. So when we're talking about love God, love God is not is not only by spending money in the church. Love God is not only by coming to church regularly. But love God means fear God, fear Him, obey His word. When you obey God's commandment, it is then you love God, not by giving money alone. But these people, because of their business, they only preach about what pleasing them, what profits them. That is what they will do. They will, they, will, they, will, they, will be, they will specify on their preaching but what i'm saying is this these are people we train them to teach, to preach about some some things around salvation 
But this salvation, they make people, they will deceive people on the language of salvation. They make, they will teach them that if you have been coming to church, confess the name of Jesus Christ and accept Christ. Truly, Bible say accept Christ. Yes, accept Christ. Come to church. Then be regular in the church. Pay your tithes. Pay your offering. Donate in the church. That is all. They will tell them it's not good to fornicate. They will tell them it's not good to lie. But the reason why church, we have church, is to be repeating that sin every day. The reason why we are coming to church every day is for the pastor to be repeating that thing that will hinder us from making heaven. But what we are repeating every day in our church today is blessing our breakthrough. A pastor that preached about how to become great last week will still become how to become blessed this week. If it is the kingdom of heaven, righteousness we are repeating like that every day how do you think christian john will be today so you preacher watch yourself if you listen to this sermon if you don't change the sermon will judge you if you if truly if god if it is god that call you truly god almighty call you i'm not again but if you preach the way others preach you have already divert and god will reject you and replace you because the reason why he called you he has something in his mind that you want to speak out from your mouth but you forsake the mind of god and you are preaching what others are preaching why is, is it is it is it is it so important for you to imitate somebody preaching forget about what other preach they know what their god sent them i also preach blessed in my church i also preach miracle in my church but maybe once in three months or once in a month and any day i mention it people are blessed but my real work, my real assignment is to preach rapture and holiness so that people can make heaven. And any other assignment outside this, beware. The reason why God is raising prophets, pastors, go back to the Bible. He also, God always calls people to preach repentance, to warn people. All your Bible, God called them to warn people. So anybody, even Abraham, Abraham also preached salvation. So life of Abraham preached obedience, total obedience to the Lord. So you cannot just be turning Bible upside down for people. So even though somebody has been deceiving you, after this case, don't be deceived again. After listening to this testimony, don't be deceived again. So these our people, we have trained them how to eradicate the fear of God from, from the heart of people. We, teach, we, we told them to teach people that God is good, God is love, God is that, but we, 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 the, 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 the fear of death, the, the fear of hellfire, we don't remember them always. And human being, it is when something continues repeating in their head, they remember. Some churches, throughout a year, they will not treat revelation. And any church that want, the, that want the member to be alive in Christ, they must be treating revelation every year. So let them know what is coming upon them if they refuse to live holy life. Church is not an entertainment, entertainment all. Why should member be clapping for you every day when you are preaching? If member continue clapping for you every day, that means you are out of the way. You must preach to them. There was a day Jesus Christ tells the people the truth. They go away from him. You are afraid to lose member, but you don't care if people lose heaven. God is losing souls every day and you are gaining one soul in your church. Your church is full, but heaven is reducing. Ah, uh, God has been disappointed in you. If truly you are working for God, you must care about souls, salvation, not population. God doesn't care for your population, but God cares for salvation so these are the way to know those fake ministers and genuine one if you want to know and not only this our people in the kingdom of darkness that we choose they also do miracle because we give them power for miracle see all those uh, holy holy church in their church they will preach holiness they will preach salvation People will have the true word of God, but problem will be accumulated in their life. They will pray, 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 there will be no answer. The reason why they did not answer, not that, not that, 
God doesn't answer their prayer. But we have set monetary demo and uh, uh, standby demo to be reporting them, to be accusing them of their prayer. They will be like, God, your words say, no sinner shall go unpunished. Though this brother deserves this blessing. But because he has committed this sin, that is why he must be punished according to your word. Because the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 47. Deuteronomy 28 verse 47. He said in that passage that because you did not serve the Lord your God joyfully and gladly in the time of prosperity. Therefore, in hunger and tasting, in, in, in nakedness and dear poverty, you will serve the enemy the Lord sent against you. He will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. So they will remember that God has promised that he will hand them over to the enemy. So therefore, God has handed them over to the demons so that demons will punish them. So this quotation has been hindering them from receiving blessing. And the worst part is that when the faithful ones pray and refuse, receive blessing from God, God will send angels to bring the blessing. But when the angel gets to the church, the same thing that happened to the angel of Daniel that day, Will happen to those angels, they will hijack them, and when they hijack them, they will now seize the blessing. So they will still be expecting blessing from God. We are as God as 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 release a blessing, but the little sin we don't count, make backbiting, rebellion, or or, or, or maybe eh, lies or laziness. Maybe somebody failed to do what he's supposed to do in the church. Maybe you are not faithful to your tithe. Maybe you are not uh, faithful to your... You, are, you do not pay especially vow and tithe. Or you lie or you commit adultery. Anything or you, you pretend. Things like this. This enemy can... They will use it. They know God is faithful to his word. He will not, he will not, he will not deny his word. Even though... The angel want to fight. They will tell the angel that God is not a respecter of anybody. Even when an act pass away, the word of God must come, must be fulfilled. So the angel will be silenced, will not be able to do anything. And they will seize the blessing. So people now think that all those who holy church at times, testimony is not rampant there. The big miracle is not happening there. Because the accuser is too much on them. But these fake, fake churches, I'm not telling you that any church that it does much miracle is of devil. Don't misquote me. But I'm just telling you ways, the way to detect them. If you see any church, they are doing miracle, mighty miracle. And seeing a body there, they dress like Jezebel. And God refused to warn them about that. God refused to, to mention their mistakes to them and still blessing them. I'm sure it's not God. If it is God that is doing miracle, God must tell them things that will not make them. Because the business of God is not miracle. The business of God in a church is salvation. Miracle is just invitation to give them faith. Miracle is not the business. The business of God is salvation. Miracle is just to build our faith so that we can listen to what God wants. But church today, they are capital they capitalize on miracle. If it's all about miracle, then how will God be blessed? How, how will God gain from this business? God has invests on gospel, but gospel is bringing no gain. So please, nobody can deceive you unless if you deceive yourself. So, in these churches, the, all the, the faithful ones, they will pray. They will follow the word. But testimony is not coming forth because we are accusing them. But you see all these fake ones, nobody is accusing them. Apart from that, the God, they are serving. The power that releases miracles unto them. The heavenly array, the queen of heaven, doesn't count on their sin. That is why you see some pastors, they will preach in their church. They will say, 
blood of Jesus Christ is there anytime you commit sin go and plead the blood he will remove your sin and you get whatever you have from God listen blood of Jesus Christ is not for a habitual sinner blood of Jesus Christ is for a sinner that repents when you repent you forsake the blood will cancel the record then God will see you as a holy man then you will be adopted into the kingdom of God as a child of God but know that he forgive you today you go back as a bastard tomorrow you plead the blood again you come back as a son tomorrow you go back as a bastard no God is not a baby don't you know how many years it took God to test Abraham before he can call him a friend so because we have grace must we abuse the grace no so if, if your pastor told you that blood just is dear for you to commit sin and bath like a bedroom like a bedroom water it's not like that though he said if anybody tasted the, the the grace of God and go back into sin he said the person did not deserve heaven so you don't need to be falling and rise falling and rise every day if you see any pastor preaching to you that anytime you commit sin just go and take the blood that that means that anytime you fornicate if you call fornicate three times in a week remember to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. that's the meaning of that and that's not what the Bible says. Bible says, be holy as your father in heaven is holy that means God means that we can be holy I'm not telling you that uh, we can holy like God but let me tell you something you can still be holy if if Paul if Paul can still make it formally he say I'm trying but the flesh did not allow me but later he say I have already gotten it if God can enable him to gotten it and make heaven if Stephen can make heaven we are also making is it not the same crown those people get we are also pursuing is it not the same score mark if it's the same score mark let me tell you something you cannot have, you cannot believe in a life of sin and you go and collect the same crown those people collect god is not a partial god you must be holy as the old one all time believer if you don't do it like the old one you cannot get what they get if it's the same thing the old one gets you are pursuing that means you must be like the whole you must go back to the whole time believer all this modern christian you are doing let me tell you something god is not there what I'm saying is this the faithful ones in the church they will now be seeing all those counterfeit prospering miracle all the times giant miracle God also do, did it but the people the, the people in the spirit the demons they hijack it by reporting us of our little little sins but those people they have their own because nobody is accusing them because their own God doesn't cut all those little, little sins. What we people in the church believe today is just miracle. What is behind miracle? Better care to know the power behind your miracle you receive. On hence, you regret after receiving. So it's better not to regret after receiving. And anything that devil give you, devil is not a fool. He's wiser than you. It's only the spirit of God that makes you wiser than him. So please, whatever devil gives to you, you must pay for it either now or eternity so don't think you can just go into the devil and take something from the devil and come back and praise god here no whatever i give to you some demons must follow you and live your life with you together with that miracle so you can still repent now pray for forgiveness now go back to your god and live an holy life holy life is the only access to heaven without holiness you cannot make heaven bible talk about Lazarus that been raised from dead. Truly, Lazarus is raised from dead. Yes, that is miracle. But the Bible did not prove to us that he make heaven. Until when we get heaven, we know that. So that one is miracle. But when we are talking about salvation, Jesus Christ preached salvation. But he, he does miracle. He does miracle and preach salvation. So miracle is invitation. Salvation is the is the prophet of God. So when we're talking about church business, you know those who are in business and you know those who are being sent by God. You must differentiate it. May God bless you as you listen to this message. So that is how 
we do our churches in a uh, that is area of church i'm still coming back to that but in the area of model i specific on that when i want to start my work on model because in the fake churches we allow them to dress so that they can make use of the materials we want to produce for them and there's in this uh, counterfeit churches they don't care about how women dress in the church for example in my bible my bible told me in the book of corinthians chapter 11 verse i read from verse verse 6 it says if a woman does not cover her head she should have her hair cut off and if it's a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off or shave off she should cover her head and you now go forward in verse 13 he say judge i'm reading an view he say judge for yourself imagine when you hear judge you to consider now that means he's so serious in what he's saying he say he's expecting our understanding to open when he say judge for yourself but me paul means that we was we ourselves supposed to know he doesn't even need to tell herself judge yourself is it proper for a woman to pray to god with her head on cover but this counterfeit church this is what they prove they they prove verse verse 15 but that if a woman has long hair it is her glory for long hair is given to her as a covering hair means that your long hair is your glory is your beauty to cover your scalp but this verse 13 is talking about when you want to pray when you want to talk to god not when you are going around the street he's talking about when you want to talk to god but the worst part in the church today they do not even have this long hair she be the half the white men have long hair but we black we don't even have this long hair what we use is long attachment and you will see people will use attachment palm in the church praising god and god will be doing miracle god will never even open only one person's eyes to see that god is anointed i wonder why i wonder why so your doctrine your church doctrine may change but the bible will not change your system may change bible will not change bible say you should cover your head when praying to god not talking to your husband now god almighty and the bible say that if you cannot cover your head shave it off if it will, it will be a disgrace to you then cover it is it not enough you now cancel all those one you now click on verse um, verse 15 but mind you either you believe in me or not those are the things we train our pastor in the kingdom of darkness so those are the key points we give them to deceive people in the world so if you are one of the pastor holding on these things even though devil did not call you you have joined those that are being called by the devil better go back to your god say the truth don't be afraid to lose member don't be afraid don't you know how many people that go away from jesus did that do, do that stop the gospel of jesus christ it, it rather he continue if the children of devil come to you they will go when they hear the truth when, when the real children of god come the truth word of god will tie them down but sha i'm not surprised not all pastors are in the business of god many are in the business of their pockets so in the in, in in the church women has been using as a powerful weapon for darkness to destroy churches so in that our counterfeit church these are the system we use so that to uh, divide the attention of the holy ones with all their holiness, they'll be no miracle. Those people they dress like Jezebel, they see miracle, miracle, and the only one are convinced. They don't know which one is the right. Those one with those things we say is a sin. Still, God is not counting. Then, if God is no more counting our dressing, then let's dress how we like. That is what we did in the church. So nobody can prove that the way we dress is better because you that you think you be, you are better still you are suffering and those people you condemn they receive miracle every day so that everybody are convinced that is how we did it i'm the person that carried the assignment 
so please if you are under that bondage lose yourself before you die your blood is no more on me i am free by the grace of god so if you are under that deceived your your blood will never be counted on me so this is how i start my operation in model line i go to according to my proposal quotation romans 126 we are talking about artificial and i'll go to queen of the coast i want to give uh africa artificial beauty so you now take me to the lamp lab and say and i told them i want to start from here they now give me idea to introduce stretching comb you know we african we have a coil here so stretching comb will now turn into straight here so from coil to straight that means it's not natural anymore it has turned to artificial so when i introduced that people use it and later they started complaining that yes they're cutting they don't have long hair i go back to queen of the coast he now told me that okay he will give me another idea they took me to lab to lab we do relaxer you can tell me that eh, eh, i mean i mean eh, eh, cosmetics is ordinary cosmetics so that we use to relax that whatever you like even though we can use ordinary sun it is the covenant behind it that is important when we go to the lab he now produce um relaxer for me and i say give this thing to them when they use it for their hair their hair will change from coil to long to straight one and it will make their hair not to be natural anymore so far it's not natural if they die with it this quotation you quote we condemn them and we all rejoice we hey they clap for me and that is how we came to the world and we started producing relaxer if you will remember there's some relaxer called um, stretching some others old, old uh, relaxer don't let me mention but the idea of relaxer comes from the queen of the coast she's the one that gave me the idea and we started producing it and later when this started spreading people using it still some people still come up complaining that uh, the idea is not long very well so i go back to queen of the coast she now told me that the only way he can assist me is to send me to another another person that I have that specific his kingdom on beauty he said there was a woman the most beautiful woman in the whole world that being cursed and she has turned to beast i should go to her temple if you are one of the people that watched this film clause called clash of the titan this film course called Clash of the Titan. You will see that film. There's a temple that my that strong man go to cut somebody to cut one idol head. That the head of that idol is um, is full of snake. So that person they send that man to go and call his cut his head. It was the eyes of that idol that have power. So it was the eyes of that idol they want to use in that film. So that person they sent me to to go and meet, just like that thing they, they that head they caught in class of the time time. That is just how the person, the personality look like. When I get there, she welcomed me and I asked me what do I want. And I told her that I'm here to collect artificial beauty for my people. And I'll say, okay, no problem. He now say he will give me he now bring out a cup filled with blood and they turn into mercury or something like that or chemical all this thing called chemical chemical you are mentioning if you know the meaning of chemical it do you think that all chemical is being produced in a factory and mind you even though all chemical is being produced in a factory do you think all these factories on head we have many factory in the deep sea producing many products you are buying in the market if you just call chemical chemical he, he, did you know the source of all this chemical so not all chemical we can you can you can you can talk about so he just gave me the chemical and he told me that when we just get to this world we can use ordinary rubber we we'll refine the chemical within and in turn to attachment so you may say i mean uh, you are a cosmetic in this thing and you know how they produce attachment yes you may know how they produce it is it not ordinary chemical you mix together with some rubber and turn to attachment yes but the covenant behind the chemical will speak after death. The covenant we make together with that beast is that the beast told me that anybody that used this 
chemical what this what they produce from this chemical the person and if you use the beauty after his death his appearance and and head will, will turn to what he is that means after death anybody using attachment his ear will turn to snake and i'm sure snake can never enter into the kingdom of god according to revelation 21 27. so therefore he now told me that that's a covenant go and give to them but you know in our kingdom we don't give anything for free so the 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 reward of it is that after using this beauty on head immediately after you die you your image will look my like and the all their hair will turn to snake and i agree with him and we sign the paper then they give me the the chemical then that's how we started producing the chemical and people are using it they will they will they will use it they produce chemical so you can mention any type of name of chemical but what i'm telling you is that be careful you are in the world you don't know how it started so that is what all about attachment so if you say you are using attachment you say you want to bless it by the name of jesus christ okay you can go ahead but i know Jesus Christ will never take what does not belong to him from you so that is why you must do away from artificial remain natural it is your natural being that will make heaven not not the one that is not natural so therefore this attachment and permit i'm the author of it and now i'm telling you that i'm out of it so if you are there using it your blood is on you let me even tell you something about about women for the last day did you remember that formerly women in the old world are glorious but it is this our dressing that we are dressing that even caused god to curse all the women for the last day if you remember the book of isaiah chapter 3 you will see how god cursed women not because of killing or maybe because they are worshiping idol but god cursed women because of their dressing he cursed women listen let me read from isaiah chapter 3 verse 16 he said the lord say the women of zion are only walking along with our stretching neck flitting with their ear tripping along with missing step with ornaments jingling on their ankle that is uh, 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 ankle chain therefore the lord will bring sore on their head of the women of Zion. the lord will make their clap their scalp bow and you always prove that you're a daughter of Zion. if truly you are a daughter of Zion, you are a child of god and if you are using all these things i'm going to mention here the curse of God is upon you. In that day, the Lord will snatch away, snatch away their finance, fearing, and the balance and and and, uh, and headband, headband and crescent necklace, the the earrings and and bracelets and veil, the head dresses an ankle chain and sash the perfume bottle and sh- and shams the s- the silence ring and nose ring the fine robes and the carpets and cloak and the purse and the m- you see let me tell you something all these things they mention here go back and read it exactly what caused god to cause women for the last day in the book of isaiah chapter 3 that is exactly what's going on in the church today. That is why you see women, they say they don't have husband, they don't have husband. Why should they have husband? Did you forget chapter 4 verse 1? He say, in the day, in that day, seven women will take hold of one man and say, we will eat our own food and provide our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. And later you say it is winch and wizard. It is spiritual husband. It is this and that. Who brought spiritual husband? All these things brought spiritual husband on you. The anger of God brought spiritual husband. The anger of God give power to the ancestral demon. The anger of God give power to the witches and wizards. God is there looking at you. See them punishing you. He's silent because he knows that you are under the chain of sin. It is cause of God, the anger of God that brings those people to rule you. 
even though you caught Nemo, just five times ten, they did not, they, 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 they did not fail their power because you are under the anger of God. Unless you come out from the anger of God, then your prayer will be answered. Even though you are using all these things, still you can marry, you can have children. But what about hellfire? So if women on head refuse to change, hmm, God is not a baby. God is still God. God can never come down to our level. We are the people that will go to the level of God. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, some people can say, some people can say that, eh, even though if it's not good to use earring, eh, why are we putting hole in our hair? Do you know the meaning of putting hole? In the land of Israel, it is slave, slave that used to, to put hole in their hair. Let me read it for you. In the book of, in the book of, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 15. I read from verse 16. But if your servant say to you, I do not want to leave you because he loves you and your family and he is well off with you. Verse 17. Then take an owe and push it through his ear. Loop into the door and he will become your servant for life. Servant for life. Do the same for your maid servant. Imagine. If you want to be a servant for life, and you know that heaven is for the children of God, it's for the sons and daughters of Zion. It's not for the slave. So if you want to be a slave for life, you can continue putting earring. Even though you have making hold before, God can still forgive you if you stop putting something there. But the, some people, they will still burn child and start continue putting hold. Means, uh, means they are slave together with their children. If you continue putting hold in your hair, this quotation of the Bible is talking about you. So that is why you need to be very, very careful. Be a good Bible reader so that Bible will not stand against you in the day of judgment. So these are the things that bring the anger of God upon women and still will refuse to listen. Those so-called pastors you, can, you follow up and down ask them don't they see this thing in their bible or they believe it's old testament if god can condemn it in old testament i'm sure new testament is still the same jesus christ said i did not come to condemn the whole but to fulfill it so just i did not condemn the old testament the only thing jesus christ condemned is the cause that god gave us in the garden of Eden. so that he said we, the cause said we shall die and just like bring life it is life he brought he does not eradicate the law. He said, put it in your heart. Let it be in your heart. Meditate in, in it day and night. Holy Spirit is not making mistake by combining Old Testament and New Testament in the same book. It's not a mistake. So please, don't allow the theologians to mislead you by saying, the eh, promise of God is different. It's not different. God is saying the same thing. Concerning those people that make up, let me tell you something. Did you know that the first woman that make up in the Bible is Jezebel? The first woman that make up in the Bible is Jezebel. That is your mother, your grandmother. If you are all, if you always make up, your grandmother is Jezebel, and you will end up where Jezebel end up unless you repent. Let me read Second King, chapter nine, verse thirty, says. Then Jehu went to Jezreel. When Jezebel heard about it, she painted her eyes, arranged her hair, and looked out of a window. Imagine, he wants to seduce the man. She's the go through your Bible. She's the first woman that make up in the Bible. So if Jezebel is the first woman that make up, Sarah did not make up. Elizabeth did not make up. Bible did not tell us that they want to go to Shiloh and they make up. It is Jezebel that is the first woman that make up in the Bible. So you are in line of Jezebel. There must be difference between Delilah and Deborah. You cannot dress like a Delilah and prove you are a Deborah. No, you can deceive yourself. You cannot deceive God. So please and please. The reason why I'm repeating this because I know many has gone to hell because of this. And I don't want you to join them in hell. It, this case may be 
as salvation for your soul if you accept it, not by force. I'm not forcing anybody to follow it, but if you accept it, if you take it, then it will turn to life in your, in, in, in your life in Jesus' name. So, as I was saying, this is how we produce attachment and permit to condemn people to hellfire. We know all these things, all these ornaments, all these derisions. God did not like it. For example, let's talk about trousers in the church. Women, ladies wearing trousers in the church. Some people, there was a day I turned on my television and I saw a, a, a woman of God, Pastor Mrs. I will not mention her name. On Sunday morning, I was going to church. The Spirit said, I should own my television. I said, I reject her book. How can I own television on Sunday morning? The Spirit said, the Spirit said own it. I want to show you something. As I own it, I saw a pastor missus being interviewed on the television. And the person that is interviewing her say, Madam, please, some Christians say it's not good for a woman to wear trousers. What do you see to that? She now replied and said, mm, The Bible says my people die for lack of knowledge. Don't mind them. They don't know that there's a difference between men trousers and women trousers. We have lady trousers and men trousers. If you don't wear men trousers, if you wear lady trousers, it's not a sin. And let me tell you something, that statement is a lie. There's nothing like men trousers or lady trousers. I'm the one that designed lady trousers in the kingdom of darkness after our meeting. Because we come, we read the Bible in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 22. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. He said, He said, A woman must not wear men cloth, nor a man wear women cloth. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does this. You see, when God says, I hate, I hate it, can you for God, force God to love it? He said, I hate it. And God has said it once. He has said it one. The next thing he's going to say about it is judgment. So you cannot force God to love what you want. God is God. He cannot come to your level. You are the one that will go to the level of God. God will never come down to your level because he loves you. So that is why you must read the Bible very well before you die. If you follow what one pastor says, you don't follow what Bible says. You are killing yourself. Bible ate it. Somebody asked me a question and say, eh, hey, madam, and you know I'm a I'm a Hebrew woman, and, and in our in our culture, man normally put wrapper. And I ask her, your culture is your culture designed by God? African demons. All our culture in Africa here, it's our demon that designed it for us. The way we do things, our culture it's our it's, a, it's our demon that designed most of it, most of it. So. If you say men wear a uh, uh, tie wrapper, does that mean that it's biblical? So far, you know that wrapper is always made for women. Then stay away from it. So please forget about your culture or this. Let Bible be your culture. Some people told me that uh, it is the culture of the white women to be wearing trousers, and I prove to them that it's a lie. Go to the HS, H, ancient film the hero of all those people HR countries you see them their are women put on gown big gown the gathers will be full like umbrella like a wedding gown they will put stocking they will put glove in their hand and small hat on their head that is their own culture that is their, the, the style of their dress not trouser it is later in the modern day you see women wearing trouser so that you cannot deceive yourself God knows the beginning of the world which day, which day are you born? You cannot, you cannot tell God the story of this world. God knows the beginning of everything. So please, even though you don't believe me, believe the word of God. So this is the reason why we, bring, we brought all these dresses into the church. To my surprise today, we see a lady evangelist putting on trousers, attachments, makeup, dress exactly like Delilah. In, in fact, half of their breast outside. Half of their breast. The reason why we, we design half naked dressing is because we want our agent to seduce men. So, if we you dress, 
if you wear the cloth being designed for agents and you say you are a child of God, that means you have changed because things you must not dress in common with them. Some people will wear long skirts and they will now tear that skirt to the lap. It's still the same thing. The skirt is not long, so far it's being tear. Is it open to your lap? So therefore, if you want to be in, remain in. If you want to be out, re remain out. You cannot be between the in and out. That means heaven is going to pour you out. And I pray heaven will not pour you out in Jesus' name. So therefore, be very, very careful. If you want to live for the kingdom, live for the kingdom. If you want to be against the big kingdom, stand against the kingdom. Then you face your judgment. So please, if you say you don't know which way to go, this testimony is giving you which way to go. I'm, I'm not the only one saying this. Go out, you see many people. Not only the people that come out from the kingdom of darkness that are saying this. Many people that God, that God speak to in the dream. Many people go in trance. Some people will die two days and come back and say this. So I'm not the only one saying it. If you don't believe me, what about the people that did not be that they are not in darkness before? They go to heaven and come back. They die three days and wake up. Some die two and four hours and wake up. What about them? Don't you believe them also? Or you are expecting your guys to fall down and preach to you again? So that is why I'm visiting you to follow the word of God. And not only that. Concerning these worldly dressings in the church, we have used this thing to destroy many saints. See in hellfire. Don't you know that we have saints in hellfire? Because all those things they believe is true. They follow it, but those ones they do not believe kills them. They believe, some did not fornicate, some did not steal, some did not, they are not winch, but the little, little things I'm talking about, because they are ignorant of it. That is why the Bible says, my people die for the lack of understanding. So if, if, you, if you quote that quotation, that quotation is talking about what I'm saying now. Because you lack to understand what I'm saying. And that is what Holy Spirit is supposed to refer to you. That is why you must have Holy Spirit. Even though nobody teaches you, Holy Spirit can show you in your dream. Many people that have Holy Spirit, many people, Holy Spirit, I show them. It's a mystery. It is from Holy Spirit you can get wisdom and mystery. So, Holy Spirit is the wisdom. And the wisdom in Holy Spirit is by showing you revealing things, mystery. So, if you don't have Holy Spirit, you don't have wisdom. And if you don't have wisdom, you, are, you will not be wiser than devil. So, those are the areas that Holy Spirit work. The, the, the major work of Holy Spirit is to is to is to is to is to, is to inform you the things that will never allow you to make heaven the major work of holy spirit is to guide you to heaven so that holy spirit you have that only does miracle that holy spirit you are that only speak in tongue but that does not eat you the thing that will block you for heaven that is a counterfeit holy spirit genuine holy spirit the major work it must do is to guide you to heaven not only to be doing miracle every day and not only that, these are our counterfeit churches and ministers. We have programmed the hand of so-called fake minister. We have, we have programmed, we've computerized their hand or put black, black glove. Anybody they took to the river for, only, uh, for baptism, the moment they dip you into the river, they have dedicated you into the marine kingdom, into the hand of the queen of the coast. So by doing and baptism you can also be initiated because their hand has been programmed for initiation so they have connected you to the queen of the coast so that is why if you go to their church you anything can happen to your life not only that they are holy communion as they give you holy communion truly you may be the one that buy the wine by yourself but the, their hand has been programmed laying hand on you can even can, can even initiate you because their hand has been programmed in, in, and, 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 and the, the whole initiation is very very strong giving you holy communion that blood they gave to you is not the blood of Jesus Christ they give you the blood of the darkness the blood of the antichrist they give you the flesh of the antichrist so that is why you need to be very, very careful if you go there for their miracle you go there for initiation be careful remain in holiness let me tell you something devil is not 
devil is not a is not a fool. Devil give as he take. That is how he give. So be very very careful. It is no, it is. I'm not telling you one name of one pastor. One is good. One is bad. I myself I can't prove anybody to you. But what I'm saying is this. It is only by the genuine spirit of God in you that will decide the right one for you. So please, the only if truly you want to go to heaven, the middle when you receive Christ, the first thing to target is genuine Holy Spirit. If you don't target the genuine Holy Spirit, there are deceiver on the way. They will deceive you. even in the church. You'll be deceived. You can be deceived anywhere, but the Holy Spirit will come gentle and tell you the real one if you are still obedient so please by holy communion people many people got initiated even though in the church when they do anniversary what they, they do um, um convention they know people will cook and from there some of our agents will join those who that will cook if maybe they will buy cow in the church they will go there when they tie the cow before they break they will throw the cow to human being Maybe there's one child of God, saint that, that they be inflicted in their meeting, they want to kill the angel of God, not allow them to kill. The person is on sickness for past three months. When they want to kill that person and the angel of God not allow them to kill the person in their meeting, they will now bring that person to the church, turn it to cow. In the following day, the children of God will kill that person by themselves and they will all eat the flesh of the saints and the anger of God will be upon all the church members. They will eat the flesh of human beings. I greet everybody in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every listener that is hearing my voice, the Lord God Almighty shall bless your soul. And the race of the last day, you will not lose your soul at last. The program of the kingdom of darkness for the last day will not take your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty God, the, the creator of the universe, shall save you and bless your soul all in Jesus' name. This is another grace for me to release the past four of my message in English. Even though it has been long that many people have been disturbing me, how I, that they want to know how I met with Christ and my conversion. I've been trying to release this re uh, message for long, but the kingdom of darkness did not allow me to do it. But thank God for the people that have been praying for me. They have been praying day and night in Nigeria, in London, America, Overs, Ghana, many places. I thank God for answering all these prayers and I pray the Lord God Almighty will protect you and preserve your soul for his kingdom in eternity in Jesus name. This is a big grace for me to expose the kingdom of darkness again. Now you see in my testimony the one I've done before 
I have re I have told you the, the, what are the reason why they sent me to Nigeria, my operation in Nigeria, my operation in many places. I have told you things what we do in the in Christendom, uh, how we establish many churches and religions. But today I want to tell you how I met with Christ. I want to tell you uh, my, uh, something about cashless policy things the kingdom of darkness also program and the program that is going on right now that many people thought is an advancement or scientists or discovery whereas it's not so let me start with this uh, the last time in my last uh, recording i told you that how i met with christ before i met with christ i never pray to met with christ because i don't like to do anything with christ the day I met with Christ, I was on a trip. I want to go and check a record in hell fire. Because in those days, we believe that hell is not a, a terrible place. We go in and come out as a special agent. It doesn't hurt us. We felt it cool. Because we don't know that the power in our body that is existing we never know that the day of the Lord, that power will be powerless. In those days, whenever we go to hell, we don't feel anything special there. And let me tell you something about hell. Many people, God has been taking them to hell these days. They will go and come back. They see the horror there. If you are there, you don't believe there's hell. My dear, there's hell. If you are one of the people in my shoe of those days, thinking hell is nothing, I'm out of your kingdom. But let me tell you reality, hell is something. I'm deceived the way you have been deceived. Thank God that he delivered me. You see this hell of a thing. There are different places in hell, different departments in hell. Anybody in hell now, you are still in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in a, just in a entrance. The real hell is deeper. It is devil and the fake prophet and that snake. They are the one that will open the real hell but the one we are seeing is prelim all those people you see in hell now is prelim and if prelim can be so horrible the way people that go there are talking about it that mean real hell is more than that now in those days we normally go to hell fire because all human beings that have been born on earth your name is there in hell either you believe it or not because the day of the naming ceremony two angels will appear one from hell and one from the kingdom of God. The one that came from hell, that one will write any name, any name given to a child, he will write it down. But the one that comes from the kingdom of God, the moment the name is being attached, if you hear that the name of this child is also, so, so far the name is being attached with idol, like Yoruba, there's God of iron, God of thunder, if, any, if there's any way the name is being attached to Ifa, Ogun, or Shun, the angel from heaven will disappear. The name will never be written down. I saw many pastors, when they hear my testimony, they say it doesn't mean. My dear, if your name doesn't mean to God, God will not change the name of Abraham. He will not change the name of Sarah. He will not change the name of uh, 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 Jacob to Israel. Please, name has meaning to God. If you check your Bible very well, if God wants to call any of his servants, he called them by the name of their father. Moses, the son of so-so-so. Joshua, the son of so-so-so. So, if your name needs to do with idol, my dear, you may miss heaven for that. Because we have many saints, many innocent souls in hell fire, just because their name is being attached to idol. So, the first, the other angel that came from hell, he doesn't have any problem. Any name. If you say your name is Samuel Jesus, he will write it down. In hell, every man that is living, their name is there in their record. But the reason why we go there to check it is that if somebody is a saint, if your name is in air fire, so far you are still living a holy life. The blood of Jesus will cover that name. Nobody will be able to pronounce the name or read it. But the moment you commit sin, the blood will, will, will disappear. And your name will reappear and uh, in that moment that the name appear while well, the blood is being wiped away means your life is insane that your name is no more in the book of life 
if the name is appear in hell, it cannot appear in heaven. The moment the blood cover it in hell, the name is appear in the book of life in heaven. So if you go there, if any child of God offended or want to attack him, so far as a genuine child of God, not counterfeit born again, no. the people deceiving themselves, they say they are born again. Jesus knows his people. His people may not know what he has in mind, but he knows his people. He knows the real people that is expected. So because all the saints, their name is in the book of life. So if the name is still in heaven, the book of life, it will appear in hell. So before we attack any saint, we must go there to check. Because if you just mistakenly kill a saint, which the name still appear in the book of life, we may lose the soul. That is why we must do thoroughly check up before launching our attack. Now, I was going to hell to check a name of a brother. Very holy, he fear God and obey God. But that, that in those days, I discovered that uh, something happened because the agent monitoring him. Because every human being, either you are holy or not, the day you are born, and they give you name. Seventy demons shall attach with you it automatically. So there's no way you will commit sin secretly that the demons will not know. Even though God overlook your sin, demons will not overlook it. So they are watching us. So if you say you are born again, please beware of hidden sin because any sin you commit is being is being exposed because they are monitoring you in and out. So. This brother committed a sin, and he's commit, as he committed that sin, the demons, the standby demon and monitoring demon that they are washing in, he gave us signal immediately that this brother has committed a sin, he, commit, he lied, ordinary lie, because he was frustrated, he's a graduate, there's no work, no wife, no house, no children for many years, he's just useless, just because he's holy, he fear God, he's born again, and he refused. To, come, to put hand, to compromise. That is where we are tormenting that brother. We want to frustrate him until he will cooperate. So he refused to cooperate. That is why we are tormenting him like that. And we are monitoring him. That day, in his frustration, he was forced to lie. Because he was doing a business. Selling things and uh, go slow. He borrowed the money. But unluckily that day, the, uh, the, the, the government officers that are they had arrest people disturbing the uh, movement of the vehicle of the road. They, 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 they arrested him and asked who, who got all this uh, market here. He know that if they discover him, they will arrest him and took away that thing. So he doesn't want some, them to arrest him. He just lied that he doesn't know who owns it. That is only, that is only sin he committed. Why many Christians may call it wisdom? There are anything, anything you commit. Any name you can call it, sin is a sin. You can call it, call it wisdom of God. You can call it uh, anything you can call it. Sin is a sin. So, the moment he committed that sin, the signal go all over the world. And uh, so far, I'm in charge of Africa in those days. So, they send the signal direct to me. I decided to go by myself to make research on his life so that we can execute him immediately. So I was going on my way, straight to hellfire, to detect what is going on about his name in hell. On my way, very high speed, because that place when we want to move, we move faster than, than jet. And in that, I have got to the higher realm that no, no ordinary human being can get to that place. Suddenly, I had someone calling my name. I have two names I bear. Everybody in my family call me Fumilayo. But outside the world, they call me Ronku's babe. Wrong care so that because I in those days I appear in two different ways. At home, they saw me as a good child, but outside I'm another thing entirely. So when I had that name, Fumilayo, who can call me Fumilayo here? Anybody that can call me Runke outside, they are the only people, maybe some of my agents, they are the only people that have access to this place. Any innocent person cannot call me Fumilayo. So I was annoyed. The person called me first time, I didn't, an I didn't answer. He called me second time, I did not answer. The third time with annoyance, I just looked back so that I can shout on that person, who are you? But to my surprise, when I just turned back to look 
Are that personality calling me? I discover it's a strange person. Somebody that is I cannot even explain or analyze who he, uh, how he look like. Tall, handsome. In fact, I never thought I can come across any man with such beauty. And uh, you no, know, to our knowledge, according to what we discover, we thought it is devil that that is the most beautiful personality on earth because the way God created him he created him to be so beautiful with precious stones ah, and man are just created by dust so I don't believe any man can be more be, can get so uh, much beauty like that so I was wondering who is this in my thinking because I have fast thinking Scotty. So I just discovered that yeah, they taught us about a son of the owner, son of the owner, because in our kingdom they don't call Jesus, they call it son of the owner. So they told us son of the owner is more beautiful. Okay, this personality must be the son of the owner they are talking about. Ah, how come he's so beautiful like this? Handsome. Ah, so I was just thinking, wonder, and it just call my name and say Fumilayo. I stop you because I want to send you a message. I was so surprised. Send me a message. I love you want to send me a message. <laughs> I say but your words say you know your people and your people know you. He said to the earth is the Lord and everything that dwelleth in it. I said, but your words say a master cannot serve a, 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 a slave cannot serve two masters. He said, with God, all things are possible. I'm about to utter third quotation. And now remember, in the kingdom of darkness, if if you are in a world, if you are in a counter of a world with strong people, if they want you first time, second time, if you utter another one third time and they want you you became a slave under the power of world so i don't want him to win me again and i'll pretend i say okay if that is the case say what you want to say he now discovered that i'm i'm about to lie he saw my heart that i'm pretending he now say okay he hurt me he said you want to go to hell to go and check record i say yes he say okay don't worry if that is where you want to go i will allow you to go I will go and you will go. Now, so yeah, move. Before you finish talking, there's a, a speed, a force. That force just turned my face to hell. I was going with a greater force, speed that I've never experienced before in my life. And another thing happened. Since I've been going to hell, I've never felt the heat of hell once. But this day, something different. The, as I'm going faster, heat started increasing. I started feeling the heat. Ah, uh -uh. Like distance of Lagos to Kaduna, the heat was so high. To extend, I can't be it anymore. All my flesh almost turned to coal of fire. And the, when the pace is too much, I now remember a, a soldier that did not die will have chance to fight another. A, a soldier that did not die will have chance to fight another time. It's better I pretend and I surrender to this man so that I will not kill him, so that I will go and prepare to fight him. So I now, I now speak out in a loud voice in my printed and art, and I say, okay, I will go for you, send me, send me. I will go for you. As I just shouted, immediately, that force turned me back and bring me back to his feet. Pew, in a tinkle of an hour, I find myself before him. My face was down. So I just want to look up again to look at his face and tell him that, okay, oh, send me. I did not know that the first time I look at his face, he is the one that gave me grace to look at his face. I don't know that it's not easy to look up to him. As I just raised up my face, just to look at his face, oh God, the radiant, the light, the power and forces that come from his eyes is hundred times 
greater than the power in song. That is too heavy. Just come upon me. Wow! This thing, ah, I just face down straight. I can't stand that force. It's too heavy on me. Ah, so if it, his eyes is so powerful like this, how come he did not show this to me last time? Okay, I discovered that force and the power that came out from his eyes has destroyed many things in my body. Because I move about with thousands of snake, arrows, many dangerous things. All part of my body is weapon. My hair, my speed, my nail, everything in my body is weapon. So everything, even the power I use to change my body, to travel ashra, everything in my body, that power, that forces that come out from his body has destroyed everything. I saw myself powerless and empty. So, he now say, listen to the assignment I'm giving to you. Fumilayo, go back to the world. Go and tell my people that I'm coming. Rapture will soon take place. Time has gone. Only five minutes to go. Tell them five minutes to go. I will soon come to take my people home. Tell my people to prepare and not to look back. Five minutes to go. As he said, five minutes to go, I woke up. As I woke up, my dear listener, I can't find it easy in my body. That fire, that heat that dry my body in that realm, that torture all my body veins and flesh. Did you know that it affected me when I woke up? As I woke up, I discovered my blood is dry. My temperature is so high. The pain is all over my body. I fall into sickness. I started crying. My parents come. What is happening? What is that? But I decided to lie to them that I have stomach pain. I don't want them to know that something is... I don't want to relate to them what I saw. So, because I don't used to seek, I don't seek. Try those times. And in those days, I don't seek at all. I've never entered a hospital before. But they have never seen me in that condition before. So my parents decided to take me to a hospital. They took me to an hospital that is an Ojuore. Who call you hospital? Specialist, or uh, they call it specially hospital. Now, at Ujure along Ota. So, when I get there, the, 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 the most surprising thing there is that when I get to that place, there was one of our agents. She's a married woman called Iyabiji. I don't know that all of them know what is going on. That one also falls sick in her husband's house in order to bring her down so that he can come and talk to me. They have arranged that one. As they, they put me in that room, I met her in that room. She now, after everybody has gone out, he now talk to me. You know, but if she's talking, if you are there, you can't hear. You will not even know we are talking to each other. But she now tell me, sorry, eh? We saw all what has happened to you. I was seriously annoyed. So you, all of you, you see me in that condition. So you cannot come and rescue me. What about if that man kill me? They did not allow. They did not allow. So they cannot kill you. I said, but he has destroyed all my power. I said, yes. And she said, yes. We know he has destroyed all your power. That's why they sent me down to come and meet you so that I can give you some power so that you can, you can come to the meeting. I was seriously annoyed. With that annoyance, I, I just accept the power he gave to me. After some days, I go to meeting. When I get there, I was seriously annoyed with all of them. So you are here watching me through the screen because whatever happened, there's a powerful screen here. There's nothing we cannot discover in the whole world. So I say, you are here watching me. What about if that man kill me? They now love. They say, he cannot kill me. He's a merciful God. He, he cannot kill me. He purposely want to send me a message. And they told me that I shouldn't mind him. He doesn't have power. I said, that is how you have been deceiving me. You told me this man doesn't have power. How come he destroy all my power? After you have told me that you have given me greater power that nobody can face me. You told me my power is the greatest in the whole world. Now, who is that man? Who is that man that just torment me this way? That, that use his power to dry all my power. They say, don't mind him, Jare. He doesn't have power. Don't, don't follow him, oh, because if you follow him, you will lose. I say, so far he has power more than you. I will follow him. They say, if you say you want to follow him, if truly he has power, 
Don't you know how many of his servants you have killed? Assuming he has power, why can't he deliver them from you? That means he's powerless. That is how he gives them mouth before he attracts them. After attracting them, he will, he will forsake them for enemy to kill them. So if you follow him, the same way you kill many of his servants, they will kill you. So therefore, don't follow him. This statement now convinced me. Say, ah, it is true. At least I have killed many ministers. If this man truly have power, why can't he deliver them from me? Don't let me follow him. So that is how they re-equip me. I go for more power. They now equip me more than before. I become more powerful. Formally, I don't easily attack church. I just focus my attention in pollution. Just to pollute them, to make them wayward, something like that. But this time around, I now started attacking many ministers. Though I don't just attack people anyhow. But uh, these days, I started attacking pastors, churches because of that attack that Jesus gave to me. I continue doing my evil work. So later, after a year, another encounter. Another encounter. One day I was in a dream. In my dream. You see, let me tell you something. I don't believe in any sermon. Nobody preached to me before I repent because I don't believe in preaching. I believe preaching is just a, 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 a circular work. It's a professional job. It's what anybody can train for. Bible is a language that anybody that knows that language can read. Just read some verses and practice how you are going to present it to people. Any presenter can preach. So I believe it's a, it's a work, it's a business. So I didn't believe in sermon. So God knows that there's nobody can preach to me to change. That is why he knows what he can use for me. Human being, let me tell you something. God is your creator. If he needs you, he knows how to get you. The heart of the king belongs to the Lord. And directed it to anywhere he likes. That is Proverbs 21 verse 1. So nobody can be stubborn to the Lord. It's only if he's not ready to get you. If God is ready to get you, he will get you, but he will give you chance to decide. He won't force you. So all these messages you are coming across, and somebody go to hell, somebody go to heaven, somebody is, a, is in darkness before, he confessed. Look, God knows that preaching on the uh, sermon on the pulpit doesn't touch your heart anymore. That is why he started touching everyone one by one, bringing people from heaven, from hell, from this, from darkness, from light, just to convince you. My dear, if all this thing doesn't touch your mind, if you refuse to change, my dear, hellfire shall change everybody. But that repentance will not have salvation. The repentance of today can still give you salvation. But the repentance in hell will give you doom. Please, if you are doubting everybody, my dear, check yourself. There's a spirit in you that wants to destroy you. Everybody cannot be a liar. I warned you. My second encounter is this. This come up in my dream. In my dream, one day, in our street, that time I was living in Songo, a street, a fellow the street, off Jojo Road. In that dream, I came out, I want to go and buy something. When I get to a, a certain place, I look up and I saw that the whole sky was just rolling, and somebody rolling marks. It was just folding up, this side, this side folding up, as the whole heaven was folding, folding like somebody folding mat. I saw a staircase just coming down from heaven. The staircase very long from heaven to the ground. And each staircase, there was an angel standing by the right side and left side. Tall, tall angel, giant ones. Each step with angel, with trumpets in their hand, very long trumpets, longer than the uh, electric pole. In their hands at the edge of the staircase i saw a throne a throne of a king very beautiful throne and a mighty man sitting on that throne with crown on his head i look very well carefully and i discovered the man sitting on the throne is that same man that met with me in that night realm when i travel out of my body to hellfire when i discover he's the same man i say ah this man, I have face be this. Ah, thank God. 
I'm going to get you today. That day that you disturb me, <laughs> I will retaliate today. Yes, I have seen you. So, as I was thinking that, suddenly I heard the angel, they blow the trumpet. Ba -ba. As they blow the trumpet, I saw people picking up. Pa, pa, pa. Eh, they're descending up. Immediately when I remembered, when I saw that, I now remember a lecture given in our church. Because in those days, I was a member of Christ Apostolic Mission Church, CMC, our branch in Songo, then. And they want, there's one of our pastors in that uh, branch called Pastor Dijulu Olafe. He taught us uh, about uh, rapture, though I don't believe in that lecture those days. So in that my dream, I remember that lecture immediately. Ah. And in the kingdom of darkness, you know, I'm, I'm so educated there in, in those days. They taught us that all things are real. Is either with bad meaning or good meaning. All dreams have reason. At least, if the dream of Pharaoh can be interpret, interpreted, at least somebody dreamt that he saw some cow, fat, other one, slim, and the slim one swallowing the fat one, and they still remain slim. If somebody want to take it carnally, we say this dream is meaningless. But if that type of terrible dream has many, so that means there's no just useless dream. Either a dream of fever or a dream of this or that. Look, there's many behind all dreams and there's power forces. Is either the spirit of God behind your dream or demon behind your dream. There's a spirit, there's a forces behind each dream, either from God or from devil, or either good many or bad many. So they've taught us all this when I'm still in the kingdom of darkness. So, and I know that all dream has many and there's reason behind it. So, this now makes me to believe that truly rapture is real. If it's not real, I'll come. I will, I, will, I will have that dream. And I know there's no demon that can come and deceive me for dream because I know my rank and my level in the kingdom of darkness is too high for them to come and deceive me. So, I believe that truly there's rapture. And I'll take my determination that, okay, either it's real or not. I'm not ready to be raptured with him because I don't have part in his kingdom. But let me just go and challenge him. Why did he come and disturb me that day? So I started jumping up. As I jump up, I will fall. I will jump up. More than 30 times, I was trying. No way. I can't lift myself up. Suddenly, I saw a cat. Very black and big. Just like a goat. I say, what is it? He now laugh at me. He say, Fumi Layo. Sorry, you can't go with them. You don't have any part in their kingdom. We have this kingdom together. And apart from that, do you remember the Bible say each one should carry will carry his own load? This, this big basket here, it is the work that me and you do together that fill that basket. And I saw that basket, very big, dirty, and all rough, dirty, bad, bad things fill that basket. I said, No, it's not my own. No. He said, Yeah, that is the work, the reward of the work that me and you did together on it. So you cannot go and leave this thing to me. Only me cannot carry it. So you better leave me so that we carry this load together. I just push him away. I started jumping again. He now dragged my clothes and I started fighting him. I said, as I was fighting this uh, cat, suddenly I saw the old heaven close up. So when the heaven now close up, oh, I started crying. So rapture is real. Rapture is real. And I go back home. I to tell my people. When I get home, I saw my mother has already rapture. I rushed to the church because our church is just like three building distance. I go to the church. The pastor is raptured also. Many people I knew in the street, they have rapture. Now, now, and exactly the way they taught us in the Bible study. That is exactly how it happened in that dream. And I was crying seriously. Oh, rapture is real. Rapture is real. And I wake up. As I wake up, that thing touched me. Oh, I was crying. My mother running. My brothers came in. What happened? What happened? And I narrate the story to them. But then I have. Ha! With that, with the, with the touch and the fear I have in me, I easily, I quickly remove all my earring, my chain and things like that. I remove all those things. And I pretend to be born again. Not, not really pretending. Because that time truly it touched me. Because I'm seriously annoyed with the, my colleagues in the kingdom of darkness. That, when they know that this thing is real, why are they deceiving 
us. I, I just surrender that time. But all my power remain in me. I never surrender my power. I just want to know much about this personality called Jesus and Christian Dion because that me, I believe that for me to, to solve that type of revelation means they have been deceiving, deceiving us in one way or the other. So I surrender myself for lecture, going to church regularly, especially Bible study, so that I can ask more questions. So I go back to meeting again after some weeks to tell them this is a dream I had. And you told us that all dreams are real. There's meaning for all dreams. How comes I saw rapture? And you told us rapture is not real. How come it came to my dream? And suddenly decided saying this and that i know they are lying i know they are lying there's no way there's no way they can deceive me anymore and i'm seriously annoyed with them tell me what did you mean you told me nothing like rapture and now i saw it in my dream so that i argue so that i give and this argument make me to be seriously annoyed with them and when I grow annoyed with them, I now told them that the person I saw on that tree, because we must not mention the name of Jesus Christ, but I purposely mentioned that name so that I will enjoy them. I now say the person I saw on that tree, his name is Jesus. As I said, Jesus, the whole place cut a fire, thunder, strike, many were injured. In fact, they were so annoyed and they got me arrested and put me in their prison shame me tormenting me day and night but physically on it i fall into sickness and my brain thoughts i just have typhoid they are treating me for typhoid the sickness was so high then they don't they thought it's ordinary sickness they don't know that the punishment i'm receiving in the other kingdom is a is the reason why i fall into sickness physically they never know what is going on with me they continue treating me for typhoid after some months they release me and he told me to go on on my assignment. I continued doing my assignment for some time. After six months, another Ekanta again. Another Ekanta again. I saw the day of the Lord. According to the book of Revelation. Revelation 16. Revelation 16 from verse 3. Let me start from verse 3. See. The first angel went and poured out his bow on the land. An ugly and painful sore broke out on the people who are the mark of the beast and worship his image. Verse 3 say, The second angel poured out his bow on the sea and it turned into blood like that of the dead man. And every living thing in the sea died. Verse 4 say, The third angel poured out his bow on the rivers and spring of waters, and they became blood. Then I heard the angel in charge of the waters say, You are just in this judgment, you who are who are and who we are the holy one, because you have so judged, for they have shed the blood of the of, of your saints and prophet, and you have given them blood to drive to dr to drink as they deserve it so therefore as you are listening to this uh, bible fast open your own bible and read it too this that day is coming everyone on earth especially you that you call yourself winch you will be tired of blood a day is coming that god will fill the whole world with the blood the wicked world will suck with blood so if you think you want to go to a meeting you want to go to this and that to go so that you can shed blood that day you don't need to kill anybody before you see blood because the water the gutter the, your tank your fridge your bedroom everything will be filled with blood and that day shame will come upon you because you thought that god is powerless that is why he's looking at you no not because he's powerless or not because you are stronger or wiser but because he has decided a day a time period prepare for your judgment and that time there will be no mercy by the time god will start his judgment everything we call you call secrets will be exposed and that day there will be no mercy this day that there is mercy 
you better look for his mercy before the mercy expire. So, I saw things that baffled me in, the, in this vision. This revelation I saw, my dear, either you believe me or not, it will surely come to pass. According to the Bible. Because even though I'm lying, you thought I'm lying, you say I'm lying, Bible will never lie. I saw this terror overtake, it covered the whole world, both the mighty one, both strong and young, everybody were panicking, terrorized, come and see lion running out of their den. The lion leave the bush, come to the town. If some people open their door to run out, lion will run into their house, they will run out. When you get out, come and see big, big animal from the sea. Animal. Only one animal can be bigger than 10 story building. That film we watched in those days, King Kong. There are some animal bigger than King Kong times three. Terrible animals coming out from the sea. Don't you know that before the day of Genesis chapter 1, there are some personality living in the water. Those fallen angels that God has descended to this world. They have been dwelling there for long. My dear, this water is so, is so, is, is so terrible. In fact, the pains, the problem in the water, because the whole water has turned to blood. They can't stay there. If they stay there, ah, ah. You know, their angel, angel doesn't die, but all the animals, all the living things are dead. But these people, they can't die. So they need to come out from their eating places. Come and see terror. What make me to be annoyed so much is when I saw Queen of the Coast running out of his kingdom, walking on the surface of the land, running. You know, he cannot run, he cannot move very fast on the land. The half of his body are uh, fish with scale. Other half is human being. Beautiful woman like that. Just came out with his garment, with a garment, running for a dear life. With terror, with fear, panicking. I say, what so? Something can happen that can make you to run like this. Oh God. This is the time I know that something somewhere is bigger than this. Queen of heaven also fell from his kingdom, from his throne. You know, he moved with uh, wings. I saw him also running up and down. I say so these people can be shaken by your power no i need to i need to go for more power so i was so i was so furious even though i myself am afraid what is going on so the whole world they are in problem many are dying i saw many nursing mother that back their baby they will just put on at their, at their back they will draw out the baby say sorry i can't protect you this day I want to run for my dear life. They will throw away their child. Motor will match the child. They will die. Some pregnant woman will fall as they are running. People will match them. Some people vehicle will go will, will, will go through them. They they will lose their baby. They will die. Some terrible things will just come happening. In fact, in some area, no motor can move. Houses come and see earthquake. Many people land will just swallow them. Terrible things. No network. No news, no news can carry anything. So, when I just see all this thing, oh God, I discovered this thing is terrible. When I regained my cautious, I woke up and I say, ah, so these people, they cannot, they are not the, they are not the most superior people. So this thing touched my mind. I was confused. I go back to the meeting. I challenge them. And, uh, you know, in this case, with this record, I can't finish the story. Where I stop now, I'll tell you what happened next. How I now move out. How I got my deliverance. What ministers do to me in the period of my, of my uh, uh, salvation. When I'm in the period, I'm looking for salvation. How I met with men of God, different experience. I'll let you know. And uh, when I'm looking for genuine salvation, what I passed through, I will let you know. And how I got my salvation, how Jesus Christ dealt with me, how he trained me, 
how the lecture he gave to me my my bible college experience with the lord everything i will let you know how i become a pastor a general overseer of ministry everything what happened to me next i will let you know and the, and what the kingdom of darkness made me to experience what they do to me i will let you know and then this cashless policy what you need to know about it i will let you know and some other things god bless you as you listen and i pray for you everyone buying my message listening to it i pray heavenly race you will not miss it in jesus name and please continue praying for me i need your prayer nothing more than that i need your prayer please do it and the lord will help you in jesus name amen continuation of the series 4 how I may I, I got my deliverance by the hand of the Lord you see I told you my thought a canter the day of the Lord how the whole world was tearing terrified so I now go back to the meeting according to what I said before I challenged them how come this thing happened and you told me truly you are stronger than that Jesus, than that God, and now I saw you checking. I've been terrified. I narrate the dream to me, to them, but they started turning me up and down. I discovered these people are lying seriously. So I now make my decision. When I come back, I started going from one church to another, seeking for the true word of God. Do you know what happened? from one church to another thinking they will preach about rapture day of the Lord and the judgment of God holiness righteousness oh God what I used to come across there I used to see people talking about breakthrough pastors preaching about breakthrough blessing money all those type of things that is what they are preaching about they can't tell me how I will make top with rapture, how I can settle my case with Jesus. Look, pastors, don't think that everybody coming to your church. Don't think their problem is, is a salvation, is a miracle. All everybody, their problem is not miracle. And it's not miracle or money. Some people need salvation. Remember, some people come to your church for genuine salvation. So please don't base your preaching or your sermon all every day on blessing breakthrough some people have money already do you know many churches i go in fact for more than three four months i never had anything about rapture heaven this that in fact there was a particular church that everybody thought that they are more holier than other churches when i get there also they are talking about healing miracle and um, solution about marriage things about that so i now decided going from going to um, from one mulway to other because i know that when i enter mulway surely i will see some deeper life member that will preach because in those days oh, anytime you go out you see more uh, you see deeper life member they will come out and preach look if you're a deeper life member and you are hearing my voice i'm telling you kingdom of darkness fear you in those days than now you have checking the pillar of this world before do not allow devil to win you by keeping you silent go back to what you have lost go back and gain your strength and confidence back there's nothing like deeper life if there's no word of God look if you say you're a deeper life member and you woke up in a day you did not preach you're a bastard I'm not just abusing you or insulting you I'm saying reality that is what you are you better leave that church and go and join other Pentecostal churches 
the duty of deeper life member is to wake up everything and preach the word that's why why you say you are deeper others are deeper in miracles and blessing you are deeper in the world give what you are being given to others so that you will not lose heaven any deeper life member that cannot win so you are destined for hell i want you i'm telling you what i know about you in those days you are the only people i rely upon I believe I will. When I go out, I will see you in Molwe. That's why I always enter Molwe. And truly, when I enter Molwe, I will see you preaching. Any tracts they give, I will quickly hold on to it. I will, I will handle it as if it's a treasure. I will go through and read very well. But these days, I'm sorry, you are no more there. There are many people repenting like me of those days. They are looking for someone like you. But these days, I saw many people preaching the bus. They were preaching miracle healing in the bus. How come? It is not in the bus you preach miracle. You come after preaching salvation to them, then you now pray miracle for them. They will say amen. And miracle will take place if God wants it in that place. But for you to come into the bus and tell them you want to give them miracle. And no, 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 no. Some people will preach in the bus these days. After preaching, they will be asking for money. They will give them offering. No, it is not your church. Bus is not your ministry. When you preach, if people like, they want to give, bless you. There's no sin there. They can bless you. Pastor, take. They give it to you. Know that you will not ask them to give you. My dear, you are insulting Jesus Christ. You are, give, you are disgracing the death and the resurrection of Christ. I pray the anger of God will not look at you. Please, my brother, stop begging in the bus after preaching. The Lord God Almighty that sustained me in those days can also sustain you. Please, it's an insult. That is why some people don't like whenever you want to talk. They believe beggars has come again. In those days, there's nothing like that. People will just preach, pray for people, and go down. So it is those people that want to bless them will now go close to them, give them money. They even tell conductor, don't collect money, I'll pay for him, I'll pay for him. Those are the way God blesses people in those days. Please. And then, I go all about from one mode to another. I can go out in a day and enter six mode just to hear the word of God. Just to know the truth that I'm looking for. After all these things, I continue holding on to the word of God but I still have my power with me then I never give total surrender unto the Lord because Jesus has never given me his own power so I can't leave the one with me I go to church I come back I don't go to meet him regularly anymore but now after a year of the third encounter the fourth encounter come this fourth encounter hmm, is very very Powerful, horrible. In fact, when the Bible say heaven and earth and earth will, be, will pass away, I believe truly they will pass away. Hmm. According to the book of Matthew 24, verse 2, he said, Do you see all these things? He asked, I tell you the truth. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. According to the book of Malachi, chapter 4, I read from verse 1. It says, Surely the day is coming. It will be born like a furnace. All the arrogant and every evildoer will be stumbled. And that day there is, and the, and that is coming will set them on fire, says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or branch will be left on them. Means the whole world will be melted away. That is what I saw. My last encounter. It's just as if the whole world stands still from one from the edge to the other nothing is moving human beings not moving animal is not moving no sound no movement no breeze nothing is moving suddenly i saw fire from heaven not dropping like rain just like wall of fire come from heaven wall of fire come from the, under the ground they met together and close up and he was and started moving like speed and then as that wall of fire was moving do you know what everything started melting away up down melting and the wall of fire is transparent i can see the other side clean and new and beautiful but the whole world as that fire is moving the whole world everything was just melting everything was just going like that and as it's melting it doesn't melt to ashes or oil or water 
melting to nothing. He doesn't give sign of anything. As we just met, every nobody can move. Everyone just as accept that okay, that's the end of everything. There's nothing we can do. But I discovered that God gave me grace. In that, in that dream, only me can move. I was just running fast. Hey, hey, I was running seriously. I was running that ah, okay, let me run for my dear life because I saw a house ahead. That house was just as if that is the only place being secure and protected for people that are being saved. So my aim is to run and get into that house before the fire will get me. I was running and I heard the voice of uh, some people singing in that house. Even the voice of that pastor that I said he preached to me about rapture. I heard his voice leading them in song. They are singing hallelujah all those type of things in song that they are safe. They are delivered by the blood of Jesus Christ, things like that. And I was just running through, towards the house. I was calling the name of that pastor. Hey, pastor, help me, help me. Say, ah, I can't help you because you love the word. I say, I don't love the word. I'm ready to work for God. You see, am I sure? I say, I'm sure. I was running seriously. And the fire was so close to me. Luckily, I was be able to just hit the door. And the door was open. Brrr, I, just, I just enter. In fact, it remains smooth for the fire to touch my leg and luckily the fire just go vim everything melt nothing remained on egg and that fire just passed away everything became new revelation said so he said the old thing will become new that is what we the revelation called new heaven and new health my dear it's a story i can't tell I can't, I don't know how to present it. It is horrible, terrible, bad, sorrowful for someone to lose his soul in hell. My dear, if you experience the problem of this world and you never live to see the new world and new heaven, my dear, you are a great loser. Whatever is going to cost you, if it's going to cost you your enjoyment, your beauty, your marriage, your womb, even, even your life to pay for new world, new heaven, eternity with the Lord. Better sacrifice it. Because the Bible says anyone that loses soul for gospel, for the Lord, we gain it forever. But anybody that is afraid to lose his life will lose his life forever. My dear, hey, if they call you as you, they insult you, they abuse you. Don't be embarrassed. In fact, it's a title. It's a blessing that people know you to be different. If you refuse to be different today, you can never be dif different after rapture. It is now you can be different. And when we, when people go in multitude, you know the Bible said, narrow door. Better follow the narrow door. If you follow the broad way, broad way means what everybody are doing. But if what you are doing is different, but according to the Bible, not just different different but according to the bible my dear you are still on the narrow way so according to what i experienced after i wake up in this fourth encounter ha ah, now i now take my decision that i'm going to give my totality to the lord now i believe the next thing to do is to go for deliverance i started going from one church to another when i go to a pastor i will narrate my story to them after they listen, they say, hmm, eh? <laughs> eh? After I narrate all my stories, they say, okay, come back tomorrow or next week. By the time I will return to that place, pastor will not come out. It is the wife that will come and say, sorry, pastor has traveled. I will discover that they don't want to attend to me. I will go to another church. I will narrate my story. Someone say, eh? Ah, sorry, yo. we don't think we can call, help you. They will run away more than 15 20 churches like that they can't help me but luckily i met with one man of god they call him baba budo yano atabuli eba cac this man when i get to him i narrate all my story he said my daughter don't let me deceive you in this case no pastor will stand before you to do deliverance for you because you are trusting is too much it is only god that can forgive you but if truly you met with Christ, that Christ you met can help you. The advice I will give to you. It is not God that says I should tell you, but advice. 
go to a mountain. Go and stay there until God remember you and come to you. I said, I don't know any mountain I can go. You know, say, there's a closer one called Pakuto Mountain along Ife Road. Ife Road. I said, okay. And I'll take my time. I arrange myself. I go. When I went to the mountain, because of my experience with pastors, I kept the story within me alone. I didn't tell anybody so that they would not drive me away. When I get to that mountain, because I've lost all what I gained, because in those few times that I've been running up and down, I don't want to go for deliverance, I don't want to accept Christ, I started having different type of problem, attacks, the kingdom of darkness discovered that I want to surrender to Jesus so they'll be attacking me. In fact, I believe that God had hand in my problem that time. I started losing many things I have. I came back to nothing. Nothing remained for me. So that so that time, I was living from one place to another, this and that. So this time, when I go to Wakoto Mountain, I, I get there with just 15 naira. I have a baby boy then. I go there with my baby. Started living there, praying. I, I started with white fasting. That means I will not take anything pepperish, salt, oil, just like that. I was there for many days. For the first uh, six months, I did not hear from God. No dream, no vision. That same Jesus that called me and said, You want to use me? He did not even show me anything again. Instead of vision or revelation, attack. Hey, when I just sleep. The enemy will come and press me just as if I want to give up. I will saw myself on a high mountain. Something will love to push me down. At time I will see a big ocean flood carry me away. I will be crying for help. At time I will saw a very big cat that will stand like a human being. He will be taller than me, fighting me. Marks on my body when I wake up. Terrible things. There's nobody I will tell, even though I tell them they can help me. Times when I sleep, I will saw myself naked in the dream, beating me, terrible things. At times I will saw myself packing red pepper at Arudo. Poverty that time. I'm left with only one cloth. I put on one cloth for good three and a half years. Nobody to give me cloth. Everybody desert me. One cloth. When I want to wash the wrapper, I will put on the blouse. So I will bend down until the wrapper dry. If I want to wash the blouse, I will put on the wrapper and wash the blouse. I will wait in a corner until it dry before I can put it on. Nobody can help me. I know God knows about it. Because if I have helper and I get different type of clothes, I will be able to go to people for help and they will pollute me. God made me to be, to, 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 to be like that. So that I will be ashamed to look for people. So that I will be serious in prayer. My dear brother and sister, you are you are hearing this message. Maybe God called you. Everybody deserted you. My dear, you are in training school. That is your Bible college. That is your training. God is not dead. God is not blind. God is not deaf. He hear and see what you are passing through. But my dear, if God is not ready to supply need for that time, there's no amount of prayer you can pray. He won't do it. And if you think you want to be wise, you want to be fast and smart, you will miss it. I pray you will not miss it in Jesus' name. This time around, for good six months, no, I did not see, I did not hear. But I continue praying. I just decided that even though he refused to answer me, I will die. And I will go to him. So I just take my decision. Everything around me, nothing is encouraging me. Even though on that month, there are some ministers that get to know at last about my story. They insulted me, they abused me, I bear it. I I endure everything. After six months, just Jesus Christ so faced again, talking to me, consoling me now, started talking to me, giving me vision, talking, showing things, many hidden things that remain in my body that I did not know. You say, yeah, pray as from next week, start so prayer, give me prayer point about some power in my brain, in my eyes, in my tongue, armpit, many places in my body that they have installed powers and some things that I did not even know. He told me everything. He told me about my blood, everything. He deliverance had taken place. My dear, nobody lay hands on me. Self-deliverance. 
and I thank God for today. So, when it got to a certain times, I now decided that, ah, I said, you want to use me? You know, I'm not educated. I didn't go to school. I stopped in primary four, to the primary school at uh, Mushi. So, how can I do the work of God when I, I didn't go to school? So, I decided to join one Bible college. And the Lord now told me, Jesus Christ, say, don't go to any Bible college so that you won't be polluted. You remember that many Bible college, you yourself, help them to establish it. And in their graduation day, most of the anointing when they use is for initiation, which you know the secret. So which one do you know you want to go? And then he mentioned some Bible college to me, which I will not mention their name. So don't go there. Even the one I decided to go is one of their agents that own it, but I'm not the one that established for that one. I thought it's God. God now say, I'm not the owner. See, it is one of your agents that established it. So I'm afraid to go to any Bible college. There are some Bible college that they are in genuine, but what about their lecturer? Some Bible college are genuine, but they employ a gent as a lecturer. The same pollution happened. So I pray every Bible college that is of God, the Lord will intervene in your college and remove all the agents of darkness from your college so that the genuine child of God will not be polluted by your Bible college in Jesus' name. So, do not allow me to go to Bible college. Say, when it's time, I will send the spirit of teacher to come and teach you. I continue my fasting. My dear listener, I fasted for more than three years. Every day, fasting. Even though I decide not to fast, no money to eat. Do you know that? I normally go to bus stop in the evening to beg for money. Before I can see money to buy, to print tracks, megaphone, battery, because I always go out to preach. I'm not ashamed. My dear, if you are, if you are ashamed, you cannot forsake the other world and receive Christ. Because whatever devil has given to you, God will never allow you to use that thing for his own glory. He will make sure you lose all those things and bring you from the, gra- from the grass to the grace. My dear, right now as I, was, as I was recording this message, God has blessed me again. I don't move about with bodyguard anymore. I don't report to police anymore. I'm at peace. Nobody is pursuing me. I go out. God has gave me my own house. He buy me cars. Things. There's nothing I want now that God did not give me. And he helped me. I never duped anybody. I never lied to them. People, people trusted me. Even though I know you have billions. Nothing consign me. I don't force people to collect tithes from them. I don't invite people from their church to come and be my member because they are millionaire. God gave me grace. I know he's the one that touched my heart. So that I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not do people and lie to them to collect their money. I thank God for this. I'm not saying I'm better than others. But please, try to imitate something good. If you are here, you are there hearing me. So, later, one day God called me, go and buy a plastic chair. Two, I want to send t-shirt to you. Okay, I bought the plastic chair. Two. Do you know what happened? One day, on that mountain, we are doing program. One man came with white, white Mercedes Benz. He came down from Dakar, white clothes, all her hair is grey, white. This man came down and came to me and said, I'm your teacher. Bring out your books because they have told me to buy big notes, big So they're giving me lectures. See, this is my Bible college. So they're giving me under bamboo tree. Do you know, I never know that people did not notice this man. I never know that I'm the one that used to see this man. I thought everybody so but I only discovered that nobody greets him. Only me that used to greet him when he come back. Not knowing that this man is not just ordinary human being. But I thank God, he gave me many lectures. Many lectures. In some of the topics, he said, God is not looking for capable, but available. Another topic said, uh, the, uh, the, 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 you know, according to Bible, Bible say, uh, Harvest are, are many, but workers are few. But these days, they told me that workers are few. Workers are many, but affairs are few. And I asked the teacher, that's not what the Bible says. He said in those days, people are ready to know the truth. But few people are saying the truth. But these days, many are workers they are not giving out the truth 
Nobody to say the trick. No harvest. A lot of workers. Souls are not making heaven. Church are many. So go. Don't be like them. Don't join them. Say the truth. Go for the harvest of soul. Not for the earthly reward. He gave me many lectures. Thank God the lectures given to me in those days. Those are part of the lectures we use in our Bible college. Because God helped me. We have Bible college. Theological school. Name Rapid Bible Institute. So, and many people are schooled in this Bible college, they are general overseers today. I thank God for what God has done through the Bible college. Most of the lecture given to me by that uh, the angel, I can call that person angel uh -huh, because of many things he does when I saw that in those days. So, it's part of the lecture given to the students in that Bible college. And uh, we are still, we also have theological uh, lecturer. And the reason why we have theological lecturer is that some people, when our students come out, they will say, uh, uh -huh, That's your school. Hmm, they are not qualified. Do they give you Pentatosh, Bible survey, Kineko Kineko? We are asked all these things. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Theology is good, but there are some area in theology. If you follow it, you will, you will offend God. In fact, you will not fear God. My dear, be serious with your Bible than all those lectures. That is why you see many people who come back from Bible college, theological school. You see them going back to devil, fornicating, this and that, because what they teach you there is Bible, story, everything. But better come out and hide Holy Spirit. Fast, pray, fear God. God is more than ordinary idol. The Lord God Almighty will help you. And all your feet that go to theological school, the Lord will add his spirit to your knowledge in Jesus' name. So after all these things, the Lord started leading me, talking to me, I hear, I see, and things going on in the kingdom of darkness, God exposed to me. Since then, I started going out many places to reveal and expose the kingdom, the secret that God has made me to go through thousands of years, and thousands of thousand years in the kingdom of darkness. Let me pause it there and talk about our cashless policy. It's been long for more, for, uh, for, bef uh, since uh, 1997 I've been telling people about MasterCard, cashless policy, but people don't understand. Some people say it won't happen. But now that it's happened, people calling me say, ah, I had your testimony I was in the church when you come to our church and give testimony about MasterCard, about cashless policy. We don't believe you in those days. In fact, I made just of you, but now I heard about it. Let me tell you something. You see, according to the book of Revelation chapter 13, that said, that beast will not allow anybody to sell or buy unless they agree with the condition he gave to the whole world. Let me just read Revelation 13. I read from verse 16. Say, he also forced everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, which is the mark of the beast on the no on the number of his on the number of his name. This call for wisdom, if anyone has insight, let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. His number is 666. Let me tell you something. This number of 666 is not what they will just write on somebody's forehead or hand before you will not receive the number. You know you have received the number. Right now, all over the world, the number is being given to many people. That is what we call microchip implanted. The whole world, they gather together, doing meetings. Then, because of this uh, kidnapping, all those type of things, bomb, this, that, they were looking for security now. The whole world are looking for security now. In the name of security, and uh, because of the uh, the things going on, you see the kingdom of darkness. They are the people that produce evil genius. They are the one that gave these scientists people. A brain they make them good and uh, scientific genius genius some people will produce some things so other department will now come and dictate that thing and destroy it again for example 
when they want to bring out this uh, mastercard atm all those things you know people in the name of um, protecting our money securing our own money in our account they bring out a uh, atm come and collect car come and this that later mastercard come out for proper security did you know that according to that book of revelation that say the beast will force both old and young strong and rich not to buy and sell do you think they'll just make announcement nobody should buy and sell no the kingdom of darkness before i left there they don't meet in that we should not wait for that show before we finish our pre- uh, our preparation let's start it now before the rapture so that many people will be in before the rapture even though they are saying the mark will be on them before the day of rapture some people argue is a lie nobody will take mark until after rapture my dear it is when the mark appear on your head you can say it's mark of, uh, of antichrist now this thing will happen will come up by the power of mammon this cashless policy let me tell you how it will happen cashless policy of it in time is coming some people will detect the secret of mastercard and they will detect your code you will see your money disappearing in your account and when this problem complaint is all over they will now come out and say they won't give you mastercard again so they will say they don't do they want to implant it and now in the scientist world they have gone for research this microphone implanted i'm talking about there's no place in the body they can put it it's either your left hand or your forehead so it's something that cannot stay in any other place in the whole world in, in the whole body than forehead and hand that means it's the same thing with antichrist mark now go and write it down because you, you people that normally say i'm lying a time is coming the whole world banking world they will say they don't want mastercard that you are using again they will say the best way to secure your money is to put that thing you know in that mastercard there's a place that just like a sim and something like very small like a melter like this it is there that's what they will not tell you that they don't want you to be holding it as a card anymore so that you will not be losing it i lost my card i lost this i do that or somebody detect my code number so to secure your money they will not tell you that it's better they implant it in your body so that nobody can steal it then it will be easy anytime you want to end and and that time they will change all the doors that enter the bank so you will just lay your hand on that machine you will just appear at access because that's your hand that will be implanted there in the name of security nobody will tell you is a mark of antichrist don't think anybody will tell you that it is by style you just enter there you lay your hand there you tell you access any money any transaction from your palm you don't need in fact in those days when it comes do you know that you will not use dsm anymore you use your palm to operate many things in fact the time is coming all this computer we are using this laptop android you will use it again you just see that ordinary glass ordinary glass you just touch it anything you want will appear on the glass you go to supermarket you will see that this advanced level you will think it's a uh, <laughs> scientist this thing you will know that you are entering into the antichrist kingdom gradually <laughs> by there you will see that if you want to go to supermarket you want to buy something or you want to go and buy cloth you will just appear any cloth you choose you will see your personality appear in the mirror you will see that cloth on you if that size is too big for you you will see yourself wearing it change it to an- another thing it will be everybody will like it you will enjoy it but my dear that's another kingdom entirely the moment they implanted this thing in your hand on your forehead your body will be working like a computer in fact you'll be able to talk to somebody with ordinary hand without food my dear ordinary ordinary physically without putting anything in your front you'll be able to communicate with anybody everybody will like it they will say it's scientific advancement but my dear it's not so very soon mastercard will be cancelled this cashless policy will lead us to it so therefore if you don't open account there will be no transaction you can't get money you can't spend money because by the time they will cancel mastercard 
there be no ATM machine. So you won't be able to collect money anyway. The only way to get money is to have a microchip implanted in your hand on your forehead. So therefore, don't think anybody will be saying, will be running after you and say, hey, I saw you. You never get mad. Or until after rapture, that one will happen. But now, systematically, everybody will easily do. You know, I collected my star card, nothing happened. I collected this, nothing happened. National ID card, nothing happened. My dear, no, nothing happened, nothing happened. By the time something will happen, you won't be informed. That is why, let everybody pray for Jesus Christ to come in time before everything will get out of hand. Because the master pla- master card of it in a cashless policy is getting us into ki- the kingdom of Antichrist. Even though that beast will not appear now, but everything is in preparation of his kingdom. Either you believe me or not. Now, did you know that very soon, in hospitals, there will be no registration of card anymore. So far you have implanted this thing in your hand or your head. When you are sick, you just go to hospital direct. Place your hand on the machine that will be put there. You see, everything happening to, you, to your happening in your body, your sickness, you don't need to go for S3 anymore. Everything will come out. And they will know it's just as if it's just like that thing they used to test a uh, car in all those uh, companies. Uh, Toyota company, if you have, your car have problem, just take it there. They will just use, they will check the motor with the computer and the fault, they will carry it out. Exactly that is what will happen to a human being when you, you have that thing in your body. Not only that, in that period, nobody will take, nobody will go for visa anymore. So far, you just get money, buy your ticket. When you get to the airport, nobody will search you. With this implanted, you'll be approved to go to anywhere. Means, you, you have been approved as a citizen of world. You are a worldly citizen. So you are not going to heaven. You have nothing to do with God again. You are a citizen of this world. So therefore, before you become a citizen of this world, hmm, I want you. Do you know that if you love money too much, you are destined for this? If you want to become billionaire, fine. You want to become president, fine. But let me tell you something. This this. Nobody can become president now if you don't have this because you, the, your country will not like to protect you and secure you. So most of our president have already got this microchip implanted already. In fact, nobody will have money in World Bank that will not have this because in World Bank, they don't give you a uh, card. They don't, there's no, there's no signature. They don't use signature there. It is this microchip implanted they are using in the World Bank. So anybody cannot be a signatory there if you don't have it right now. So if you are a millionaire, many pastors, what they are running to, they want to become millionaires so that we have money in World Bank. The moment you decide to have money in World Bank, my dear, forget about rapture. So please, if you love this world too much, my dear, you are going to lose heaven. All what I'm saying now, if you like, you can call it lie again. Okay, since I've been talking now, do I tell you to leave your church and join my church? Do I tell you to bring your tithe for me? Do I tell you that uh, the problem you have come to me, bring so a month, I will help you and I will heal you? Do I tell you I'm a, I'm a miracle maker? But my dear, if I just come, I use my money to go to studio, produce all these things, confess all these things, so that you can know the truth. And you say, I'm lying. My dear, go for deliverance, something is happening. You may come across many pastors they will tell you I'm a liar. Yes, let them say that. They need to say something to defend them, themselves. Forget about them. Just try. I'm not telling you to believe me that But go back to Bible. Go back to God. Pray. Let God tell you. And so that you can know the truth. Because if you discover the truth after death, the truth will never set you free anymore. So as I'm, as I'm telling you, I'm confessing all this secret to you. Watch. Pray. Do not be a lover of the world lover of money do everything moderate fear god prepare yourself 24 7 for rapture do not allow anything to take evil from you and i pray for you the lord god almighty shall protect you and save your soul from the last day destruction in jesus name amen